right, there we go. We should be good to go. How's that work? Is it, are we good? Does it look good? All right, very good. Hello, everybody. I want to welcome you to my new platform. I have banners everywhere. Absolutely <laughs> zero advertising. Um, I, I Just advertising myself. I want it to look a little bit better than what it usually is. This is a different inside the minds. Let me know if you have good audio, Bree. Sure. Is it good audio? I don't know. How do you not know? I don't I, Okay, so we should be good to go. You should have good audio. All right, sorry about that, guys. I had a bit of an issue, you know, running a Mac. I, I know I should be using Windows because everybody else is. Uh, but we're going to do it inside the mines today, inside the mines 33. It's kind of plastic on the screen down there on the bottom where Element Vape, Vapor DNA, Puffin stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget Raid Shadow Legends. Right, yeah, Raid Shadow Legends. Everything on the bottom should be all plastered. Uh, the resolution should be good to go. What's the resolution like? Is it good, Bree? Uh, click the gear. Are we at 1080, 720? What are we at? 720. 720. That's fine. Okay. All right. So hello to everybody inside the Minds 33, uh, Vaping with Vic. Always a good pleasure just because a lot of what he feels is the way that I feel. And um, we're not going to really introduce ourselves because you know who we are. You know what we vape on. And if, I, if, I, if we talk about a lot of vapes here, YouTube will essentially demonetize it because that's yeah. kind of a big thing right now. And that's, you know, that's one thing I'd like to discuss with you, Vic, because we've seen the notifications, right, where uh, on the top when you log in now, you can no longer... Did, did you get the same notification that you can no longer monetize videos that are vape-related? Yeah, we can no longer. We, we, first of all, it was we, we, originally it was we couldn't monetize if it was nicotine content, right? But then they realized that I don't think a, a lot of reviewers, especially if they're chain hitters like me, generally tend to do reviews with zero nicotine content liquid. And then YouTube probably looked at that as some kind of loophole. So now they're saying, I think the way they worded it is any device. Right to do with electronic cigarettes so even if you're doing a hardware review and you're not even vaping mm. demonetized oh yeah oh yeah and it, yeah. It, it's weird because you can actually enable and i just want people to know inside of chat this is going somewhere we're just not I, I, well we're not keep in mind that this is not scripted that me and vic just just improv whatever right off the cuff happens happens but this is leading into something so uh, it's odd though, because when you look at these videos, right, especially on your back end, Vic, when you look at them, it shows like the, I, I'm assume it's green, the little green dot or yellow dollar sign. Yellow. So it's, so it's limited, right? But we got this notification that people can no longer, uh, make money via monetization. And this was one of Rip Tripper's pointing things that, uh, you know, monetization is no longer possible. But have you ever clicked any of these videos, Vic, and seen uh, some of the money that you've brought in from these videos that are limited? Yeah. <laughs> adverts, adverts still run, but here's the thing. Most of that advert money is not going to us anymore. <laughs> so, I, <laughs> so I looked at a video. You're going to get a kick out of this. I looked at a video, a video that had 420,000 views, and then in the last 28 days, I made 14 cents. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're going to do with 14 cents. Uh, you're not going to buy a vape, I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that. Uh, Couldn't even buy a coil for that. Right. So let me ask you, with the video that you did with Rip Trippers, right, because... You know, this is going to come up. It's got to come up. It, it's just something that I feel is worth discussing without bringing too much drama into it. I know one of the things that you discussed in there was was a matter of all vapor viewers getting paid. Yeah. Right. And you made a video about it. How, how did that go for you? A lot. Of, the vast majority of people agreed. But here's the thing about rap. Right. Rip is, there's no getting around it, he is the most heavily subscribed ex-reviewer now, because he's no longer reviewing, he's the most heavily subscribed ex-vape reviewer out there. He done a lot of good work in the very beginning, a lot of good work. His coil builds in the early days were absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely. Then he turned into a marketer, let's face it. Sure. That's basically what he turned into. Sure. But the, the, the video that I put out, I mean, practically everyone agreed, but the one thing that... The one thing that got on my nerves a little bit was a couple of other people in the industry used the reply videos as kind of a way to poke back 
given it. Well, you shouldn't spend all that time being angry about what another reviewer is doing. You should spend all that anger on advocacy. Yes. Fuck off. Yes. Seriously. Yes. <laughs> right, right. So you're going to give me shit for the type of videos that I make on somebody else, but are you doing the videos on the advocacy? Are you... And I'm not... Look, I'm not trying to be a negative asshole, Vic, but the fact of the matter is... is I'm going to get so much shit for this is what is advocacy doing for us right now? Like what, what are they doing? I, I just, Nothing. these laws are being passed regardless of how many protests happen, how many, how many people go to court. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't donate towards advocacy. I just think that it's, it's kind of like donating to a cause that, you know, is not going to work. It's like you're putting money into something that you hope does something right. I, yeah. I know I'm going to get a lot of shit for that. I, I really I really don't care. I really I don't. I mean, here's the thing. How you doing, by the way, Pud? Uh, here's the thing, right. I put up a post. I didn't actually put it in a video. I put it up in a post um, saying that, and I think you actually commented in the post as well, Welcome to advocacy in the United States, where the common vapor is actually expected to pay for advocacy as well. If you have a problem with your car, or let's say a car manufacturer has a problem with something the government is doing, does the car manufacturer expect the car purchaser to go out and start marching and pay for fucking uh, pay for advocacy groups? No, the manufacturers themselves do it. If you look at the electronics industry, the phone industry, the computer industry, everything else, it's the actual manufacturers themselves that get involved in the advocacy. It's only in the vaping industry where the bulk of the advocacy is put on the consumer's shoulder. And to me, that is just wrong. To me, that is just wrong. I mean, people like yourself, Jay, you are already members of uh, was it, a couple of trade um, groups. Yep, I'm, I'm a member of Safada. Uh, yep. that, that's 5000 a year I pay. Uh, I'm Ooh. a member of uh, VTA. No, actually, I'm sorry, Safada together because it's vape life and ja so the two of those so it's five grand a piece so it's 10 grand and then um vta i think i'm either 25 or 50, uh, five thousand. One of one of the two so yeah a lot of money a lot of money i, I mean, didn't know it was it, that much could, could i do more sure but you know what if the argument is that i should take my platform as a youtuber as a vapor viewer or, which we know at this point legitimately and I'm, i don't say this to get out of things I, I don't label myself a vape review. I, I label myself as an entertainer. If you take my reviews seriously and that's all you look at me as, that's fine. But I don't think that people, if you're going to tell Rip Trippers, here, here it comes. So if you're going to tell Rip Trippers, it's okay, it's his channel to do whatever he wants. You cannot preach to me that I have to yeah. do advocacy because that's hypocritical. Yeah. You're saying that he could do his channel right and and promote fucking sticky notes and and post its and pens and notebooks but it's not okay for me not to talk about advocacy what the fuck is that it's my channel i could do whatever i want on it and even if even if we start talking about advocacy oh my god guys go read this website for these links and go fill out these paperworks you know damn well your numbers right off the jump are going to plummet well, oh, they are because nobody gives a fuck. Nobody cares. No, no matter how much you talk about it, nobody's listening. And the people that do listen, and then and then they 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 uh, I was gonna say mask shame, but <laughs> but, <laughs> <Mask shame. laughs> but then they advocacy shame us because we're not doing enough. You're not doing enough. So what's the advocacy like over there in the UK for vaping? The advocacy over here in the UK went went down a completely different path than the United States. A, a completely different path. Over in the United States, there was, like we're talking about 2017, 2018, at the height of advocacy, there was like 30 billion different advocacy groups over in the United States. Over here, it was all concentrated down to three. And two of them are trade groups, IBVTA and UKVIA. The third one was an advocacy group called New Nicotine Alliance, and that was it. Right. And I, IBVTA and UKVIA done a little bit of advocacy in the background, but they didn't shove it down everyone's throat. UKVIA 
was the ones that organised Stop Smoking Month, Vapril, I think it's called. I think it was called Vapril, yeah. Vapril were the push um, people to move away from smoking and move on to vaping. And then the New Nicotine Alliance done a little bit of work here in the UK, but at the point, at that point in time, the Conservative government were already kind of pro-vaping anyway. So the NNA fucked off to Brussels, all those idiots over in the European Union, and they managed to get the TPD2, as it was back then, toned down so they didn't ban high-power mods, because that was the original plan of the old TPD. Any mod, one over 100 watts, banned. Wow! It's a better thing. Any mod that takes external 18650 batteries, Banned. Wait, so so how's the volume now, but it should be a little bit better. Uh so wait, hold on a second. So would you say that the success of where vaping is now in the UK is because of advocacy, or would you say that it's more uh directed towards uh the companies that did stuff or the health like are the health officials that are speaking for vaping part of the advocacy? If that no, the health of the, the health officials that are speaking for vaping are part of the government. That's the big difference between the US and the UK. So what's the purpose the, of the of the advocacy in UK then? The advocacy in the UK, it started the the, the, the predecessor of the NNA. It was a guy called David Dorn. Very tall, very, very muscular. Wait, fellow. how do you spell very, that name? Is it D-O-N-G? Like a dick? Dorn. Oh, Dawn, Dawn. Dawn. It's the Miss Doubtfire <laughs> accent. Got it. Okay. I heard Dawn. <laughs> Vine's good. Okay. All right. So go ahead. Sorry. I didn't want to interrupt you. Go ahead. Go ahead. But he, he started along with a few others um, doing live shows on YouTube. Now, at that point in time, again, it was still a conservative government. It wasn't Labour. It was a conservative government. And the conservative politicians were a little bit on the fence when it came to vaping. Then the Royal College of Physicians spoke up, 95% safer. We all know what they what they said. And it was that it was at that point in time when the NNA, as it became known, realized there wasn't much else they could do in the UK. So they started concentrating on Europe because Europe was the bigger problem compared to the United Kingdom and the current TPD we've got now. Yes, it's a nightmare with only 20 milligram cap limit, which I'm kind of happy with. It's a bigger nightmare with 10 mil capacity bottles. But if the TPD and the European Union had their way, stuff like this, um, stuff like this yeah. wouldn't exist. It really it wouldn't exist because they would have banned anything over 100 watts and anything that took external batteries. The NNA managed to talk them out of it. Wow. Okay. Okay. All right, so so they so they've done something then uh, in regards to assisting the oh yeah the common vapor so to speak. Oh. Done a lot. Oh, that's that's good. But didn't you didn't you use to promote a lot of the American advocacy groups? It sounds like I'm being so uh, anarchist. Like I, I, <laughs> I, I <laughs> so you need to go look outside at the protest signs. That's anarchist. Uh, but. So it's, it's it seems like I'm so against it, but it's not that I'm against it. I just don't have any faith in it. You know, I, I don't I, either. I don't believe in it. I don't. And I, I'm not saying that they don't deserve money, but I I, I don't know, man. I don't see. I, I mean, take my state, for example, New Jersey. It's essentially the only thing that I could sell in New Jersey legally is tobacco liquid. That's it. Yeah. I can't even sell menthol. I, it, it's just straight tobacco. That's all. And I, it sucks because I put so much money involved in that to get absolutely nothing. 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 And this, the, the, there's a big difference between the UK and the US. The big difference is the healthcare system. Over here in the UK, the healthcare system is run by the government and it's the taxpayer me right. and everyone else living in Scotland, England, Wales and Northern Ireland, we pay for the NHS. And the way the government's seen it, if they can get the smoking rates down even by 50, even not even 50, 40 percent, if they wipe out 40 percent of the smokers, that will that will basically translate into a much bigger decrease in the amount of cancer cases. And as everyone knows, even here in the UK with free health care, those cancer treatments still cost a lot of money. 
a hell of a lot of money. And that's the big difference between over here and over yeah, there. Yeah, Plus, you've got the master pocket. settlement agreement as well. Right. It's coming out of their pocket. So it would behoove yep. them to make sure that they could do whatever they can to uh, minimize whatever. So let, let's kind of switch lanes for a little bit. Uh, let's move over to the, uh, I think it's called the char or the har. It looks like a C. Have you got the har RTA? By, uh, I don't think who made it. That's t uh, Todd's reviews, and uh, oh right, no, I don't, I don't have that one. No, no. there's fucking there is. It is a snowball's chance in hell. A snowball has a bigger chance of surviving for two <laughs> minutes in the depths of hell rather than Todd sending me anything that he's produced. <laughs> so, so here's the thing. I got one, right? I got one brand new. I have not opened it yet. I haven't done the review on it. Uh, let's just say. Without giving too much away on it, I, I've I've heard a lot of negative things about it. You know, some of the it, it was it was it was Van and Dale that he teamed up with. Well, yeah, it right. was. It was Van and Dale. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's also made in China, and it's also a hundred dollars or a hundred and ten dollars, respectively speaking, if you're buying it in American and not euros. So that's it's, pricey. It's it's a little pricey. Yep, to be a Chinese made RTA, but you have to keep in mind though. You have to keep in mind it's people's channel. They can do whatever they want. So mm. if if you if you here's the thing, let's just say that the RTA costs twenty dollars. Each of them have to make a profit, right? So yeah, I I even I, I don't know one hundred twenty dollars is a bit it's a bit extreme. No, that's fifty dollars each. Yeah, that's that's a good chunk of money. That's that's a lot of money to be made there. So yeah, I figured I'd ask just because I know you're on the same island that he's on, and I don't know uh, if. <laughs> I figure that if everybody's on that small island, there can't be more than 30 people there. <laughs> Send you one of his. So you didn't get one. And you don't plan oh, on doing no. a review on it? I'm not going to buy it. Put it that way. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. It's not a It's not a fun endeavor. So if so, let's we're going to talk about something a little bit more personal right now. Let's say for the reviews that you do. Right. I have to ask. I have to. I don't know why I haven't asked other people this on Inside the Minds before, but I'm going to start now. So have you ever um, I, I, I don't want to say accept the money, but would you say that a majority of your videos companies pay for you to do the review of those products? I'll break it down. In fact, this, this is actually a fucking good question because I was meaning to do this in a WhatsApp. I've never, I've never it. asked this, and I don't want to dig into yeah. your personal thing. It's, it's none of my business, but I feel like it's a good question because I want to know who's making a hundred thousand dollars a month, uh, and what I'm doing. Shit, fuck. <laughs> not fucking me, that's for sure. Um, I do. <laughs> it ain't me either. <laughs> getting right. covids and putting covids out of the way when when Chinese manufacturing is up at hundred percent and they're they're throwing out new pods and new AIOs sure. every fucking day. Sure. I average about five reviews a week, right? Okay. Five reviews every week. That's what I average at. Hold on. Uh huh. Yeah. Mother dear is going out into the garden. Anyway, uh, I average about four or five reviews a week. So you get those four or five, let's call it five reviews a week, right? Get those five reviews a week and then times them by four. And that's the amount of reviews that I do every single month. Out of all those reviews, only two of them have been fast tracked. More than 95% of the, well, We'll call it 93. More than 93 of the but more than 93 percent of the reviews that I do on any given month are done for free. No money has changed hands at all. So then, what would you consider the the payment for your time to do the review? The product? Well, if it's a product, if it, if it's a good product, like um, this thing, this little fella, oh. love this little mod, right? right. Fine. I'm fine with that. I'm going to keep that and put it on my shelf. But if it's a pod kit, I'm doing the reviews at a loss. Literally at a loss. So then why do it? To, to, to remain relevant and to keep the channel popping? I do it. Well, number one, it's fun. Uh, I'm, I'm, I've been doing this for like six, six and a half years okay. now. Even a, even a little pod kit. The actual process of doing a review, the recording, the editing, adding the effects and all the camera effects. I just bought myself a 500 pound slider and two fucking tripods to put the slider in fucking top of. I find that bit fun. 
Oh. Right. I love editing. I love recording. But when it comes to when it comes to me and the e-cig review scene, I'll put it as simple as this. I will keep doing this as long as they're still in industry. So then how do you make the money to do the re- Okay, so the products that you're doing reviews on are sent to you then. You're not you're not buying them. Yeah, they're sent. I okay. get it for free. Okay, okay. Don't you don't I get it for free. don't you feel that you should be asking these companies, hey man, um, you know, hundred bucks, fifty bucks, two hundred bucks, something. Or do you feel that you wouldn't get that if you did ask, and that may jeopardize the possibility of you getting future products that that company makes? The way that I see it is that there's two there's two camps to this. Somebody's opinion should not be paid for. That's the camp that I'm in. And there's another camp, which I know, I know a lot of reviewers who are there saying, I don't mind being paid for my opinion because I'm still going to give you the truth. But for me, I will not ask money for a review to be done. And here's the best part of it. I've had relics. You've probably had the same fucking emails. The relics pod system company. I've had relics. I've had as vape who I'm still not talking to. And I've had several other companies saying, do this review for us, Vic. We'll give you half a grand. No, no. Just just because it's too boring. It's just so it's such a, not a fun type of device, which is why you decline it or you decline it just because. I declined it because I'm not going to be paid to do a review. <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's listen, the thing. Listen, man, if you can make money, you can make money. But I'm already making enough money. As, wow. as long as I make enough money to keep the two offices' rents paid for, and I'm making enough money to keep this roof over my head and my mother's head, and I've got enough money coming in to pay for food, gas, and electricity, I'm happy. I don't have any expenses with cars because I don't drive because I have blackouts. I don't have any expenses for healthcare because it's free. Mm. I'm happy. I think when we talked last time, you were talking about these blackouts. What? What? what you just black out? Just be just narcolepsy? Out. Just fucking fall asleep in the middle of doing something? It's, it's Wake a, up it's and actually, it's eight hours it's, later? It's, <laughs> it is a little bit like narcolepsy, although I do get like a five... A, kind of a five minute warning with narcolepsy you're gone you don't even know it's coming but with me i've got a five minute warning like a headache or like an oral migraine which is a bit like a kaleidoscope going on in your field of vision when i see that i need to go and lie down because if i don't i just kill you i just keel over and what's the what's the reason for that? Is there a diagnosis for that? A diagnosis. The diagnosis. It's got the, the doctors and the neurosurgeons reckon it's got something to do with, with migraine. Oh, <laughs> they're going to say it's old age. Okay, well, <laughs> it's not fucking old age. No, well, listen, listen, listen. I'm not. I'm not going <laughs> to bullshit you, brother. The older that I get, the more ailments that I have. I wake up and my fucking knees hurting. And I'm like, I did absolutely nothing yesterday. Why am I sore? But I talk it up to just being old. And man, I I don't know, man. Every day that I wake up, it's it's crazy that I, I just, and I'm not trying to pull religion in it, but I feel so blessed because it's like I woke up today. I don't know what's going to go wrong the next day. I'm going through this midlife crisis of buying these cars and these motorcycles and I guess I'm at midlife now, 40 years old, right? That's what they say. Midlife. Yeah, midlife, 40 years old. Yep. Yeah. I'm, I don't think I'm going to be 80, but if. if... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you never know. Yeah, I don't, If I'm having these problems at 40, at 80, I just might as well amputate my legs. Because, I, <laughs> bro, I get out of bed, I put my leg on the floor, and I'm like, God, dog. Was someone sitting on my knees while I was sleeping? It's that yeah, is bad. It arthritis? No, I hope not. It, I, maybe I don't know. Maybe I got a, I don't, I don't know, some type of, yeah, arthritis. Something's wrong with Could me. Be. Or just old, right? Because the older you get, the more problems you have: headaches, stomach yeah. acid. I, you know, it's crazy because I was talking to a bunch of people the other day, and so many people that I know that I talk to via online have like stomach acid and and uh, indigestion all the time. And it's weird because when you go back to the age, I would assume it's the diet, like what we're eating versus it's, what we ate 20, 30 yeah, years ago. It's the diet. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's the... there's a lot. There's a lot. There is a lot more processed foods out there compared to when I was growing up in the eighties. A lot more yeah. processed foods. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Every every night, my my parents or my, my my mom at the time or my father at the time would make dinner. It may not be good, but it wouldn't be you know your fast food that has all this garbage yeah. in it. That you know, I don't think that has to do with my joints, but I I don't know. I just feel old, man. <laughs> Oh, it, it gets so bad. It's like I used to wake up and be like, yeah, I'm going to knock out a review today. And I'm like, man, I don't know if I could throw my arm out because my fucking shoulder hurts. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, and it doesn't help. It doesn't help that this Corona shit's got us on lockdown, right? I can't go to the fucking gym. I can't even go outside. Vic, it's so bad in New Jersey, right? If I go somewhere where other people are going to be, so if I go somewhere, let's just say uh, a store, no matter what, you have to wear a mask. It doesn't it doesn't matter it, it, if there's other people around and you can't keep a six foot distance. It is a requirement that you can actually get a fine for not wearing one in public. Now, it is so ridiculous. And I have actually they actually put that they actually put that into law here now the mask thing wasn't a requirement until it's not a requirement until this monday coming but now they're doing the same here in scotland i don't think they're doing it in england but they're doing it in scotland you have to wear a mask when you get on public transport you have to wear a mask when you're inside a shop if you're open air you're fine you don't need to wear a mask but if you're inside in a public area like a shop you've got to wear a mask if you don't have a mask on I think it's a sixty pound fine, from what I remember. And they're making that. So is that like a town thing, or is it the whole country thing? It's the whole country. How it's do you feel country. about that? How do you feel about that? How do you feel about the mask situation? Do you like it? I think. Here's the thing. This 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 lockdown stuff hit us at the end of March, beginning of April. Yeah. If they were going to get people to wear masks, that's when they should have done it. Right. But now, what's the point? Because the COVIDs are already out there. We already know there's going to be a second peak. What the hell's the point in wearing the masks? If if the if the death rates and the infection right. rates were already peaked, right. but they're starting to go down, wearing the masks now, a little bit bloody late, if you ask me. It's a little bit late, but I mean, you, you've got, you have to do it. You've got to do it now because if you don't wear a mask when you're in a shop, you're going to get an instant fine. So, so you're, there's no so, argument with that. Right now, I understand what the law states. I'm just asking you how you feel towards it. Like, does it bother you that you, that it is a requirement for you to wear this mask? Like, are you, it, does it irritate you is what I'm asking. I understand the law. I get that. I'm just, because uh, I'm an anti-masker. You know, I'm the guy. Oh, you're, that, you're, you're just full out no. Yeah, I my my uh, my idea behind it all is I just don't want to wear a fucking mask. I don't I don't want to wear one. I don't I, I want nothing to do with it. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. It gives me a stupid fucking tan line. Um, it's 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 so, it's so stupid. If 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 I if I go on a motorcycle, listen, it's even gone as far as if you're on a motorcycle, you got to wear a fucking mask. It's okay. So, that's stupid. It, it's so dumb because I. Look, I know that you don't ride a motorcycle to get tan, but at this day and age, how old I am, I'm not going to go lay on the fucking beach. My option to get a tan is to wear no shirt and get my tan on while I'm riding my motorcycle. Now, I got to wear a stupid fucking mask, which puts this ugly tan line of... All the way oh, down. Yeah. God. I can't believe you've got to wear a mask if you're on your fucking bike. Who, who and you're, welcome to New Jersey, man. Welcome to New Jersey. Welcome That's to just weird. You know what I think is weird is when you see these people driving in cars and they're the only one in a car wearing a fucking mask. Wearing a mask. Yeah, You're the only one in a car. Like, who's going to give it to you? The steering wheel? Oh, no. Put the, let me get baby wipes on the vents because someone might have been in here with the Coronas touching shit. This, I, it's, <laughs> it's fucking nuts. It is nuts. And it's like, I it's. And and people give me so much shit, so much shit because I don't want to wear a mask, so much. I, I, I I'm I've legitimately thought about leaving the country so I don't have to wear a mask. Isn't that That's ridiculous? A... That's how. So where would you where, where, here? Hold on. Where would you go? I don't know. Uh, I, in on an island in a shed. I I don't I, anywhere. <laughs> Anywhere where I don't have to fucking wear one. What's next? They're going to come to my house and tell me to put one on in my house? 
Like what? Yeah. yeah. I, I, this is cr- There's a lot of countries. Uh, I was just talking to one eye who's over in uh, Sweden and Netherlands. They don't have to wear masks. I, yeah, Sweden. I think Sweden and Netherlands. They didn't even go through a lockdown. They they went through a partial lockdown, but it was nowhere near as strict as the lockdowns over in the US and the UK. Nowhere near as strict over there. Uh, it, it's it bothers me so much. You know what it is? It's it bothers me that someone is telling me what I have to wear and what I have to do. That's that's what yeah. bothers me. Is yeah. the idea that the government has that kind of control to where. I, I just, it bothers me so much, so much. And of course I get shit for it. Cause it's like, why don't you just wear one? It's not that big of a deal. I don't, I don't know. Why don't I just wear a swastika on my forehead? I mean, people say I'm racist. So why don't I just put that on my head too while we're at it? I don't know. I just, freedom of speech, right? Oh, my freedom is I don't, I want, and you can't even, you ever try to talk to somebody that's got like an official mask on? It sounds like they got, Two tennis yeah, balls no, and a dick mm, in their mm, mouth. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, run, run, you know what they sound like? They, Who's this fucking they Charlie sound like Brown? The teacher from Charlie Brown. Yeah, fucking Charlie yeah. Brown. Come on, man. Yeah. And and half these fuckers they wear the mask like this. It's not even over your nose. Yeah, they're, not, they're not covering their nose. <laughs> Right. Or, or, the, or that now you got cigarette smokers. I feel bad for them. I feel bad for the people lighting up cigarettes. They're out there. They're putting a fucking mask over their eyes and they're, they're, they're doing all this shit. And I'm like, just take the fucking mask off. But I got to wear a mask. I got to wear it. So they put it over their nose and they try to do like a dragon exhale. Then it starts going up into their eyes. It's it, You look ridiculous. I, I don't I don't know, man. I, do, I don't. Now they got masks, Vic, that you eat with the mask on. So it's a little pump that is attached. What? I'm not shitting you. They have a mask that goes on your face. This is real. This isn't a gimmick. So every time you go to bite, right, this blows my mind. You put the mask on. Looks like a regular mask. It's got a little tube attached to it. And it's got like a little baby bulbous thing, the thing that you clean out the baby's ears with. You know what I'm oh talking about. Oh, my God. So you squeeze that, and it opens like fucking Cookie Monster. Opens. <laughs> You put the food in, and then you let go of the pump, and it closes, and you chew. Why not just take it off? Take the fucking yeah! mask off. <laughs> and now these, and of course, <laughs> Chinese companies are picking it up. Instead of doing reviews on products, now they're messaging me. I got Vupu saying, hey, we got face masks. Do you want to do a review on them? What the fuck <sighs> am I? What, how do you talk about a face mask? I'm, I'm not a scientist. I, this is where we're at, man. This is it. <laughs> This is the end. The end of the world as you know it. It's, it's so stupid. You see people with maxi pads over their face? Have you seen those? I haven't seen that. The maxi pads? No. You seen the ones with the scubas? They got the scuba stick? The the, the, the mouth in? And then they I got seen that either. Oh, okay. That's a thing that you see here a lot. Um so they'll wear the goggles for whatever reason to get the corona out of the eyes. They'll wear the scuba stick. You know, the kind that you you, you, you scuba, you, you don't scuba dive, but you you skate the water and you look down at the nice selfish shellfish and the corals. <laughs> and then they'll put like, <laughs> they'll put a little paper towel on the top of the scuba stick, right? And they'll rubber band it. So they believe that when they, when they breathe in through it, the corona will be stopped by the paper towel that's on the top oh. of the scuba stick. Jesus. This is the, this fuck. <laughs> No, that's that. I don't know. That's just insane. That is just insane. <laughs> Snorkel. That's it. I'm calling it a scuba stick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a snorkel. Yeah. It just, it's just fucking ridiculous, man. But there are countries that aren't as, I, I don't want to say strict, but. I guess that's the only one I have where they're... Yeah, they're, they're more relaxed on yeah, the rules. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just more chill more relaxed. about it. I, 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 you know, Vic, even from the jump, I said, you know what? If I get it, I get it. You know, what What are you going to What are you gonna do? You know, what? if you get sick, you get sick. I mean, no matter what you believe in, when it's your time to go, it's your time to go. So if my way to go out is coronavirus, then I get it. I don't know. But here's the thing. I mean, we all know there's going to be a second peak. There's bound to be a you second think so? peak. 
Oh, there's bound to be a second peak. It, any any kind of virus like the coronavirus always has a second peak. What are they going to do when that hits? They sure as fuck can't shut the country down again because if they go for a second shutdown, they're all already backwards. they're all there's all. What state were you watching this morning, Bree? That 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 restart of phase one. What state was that? Oh, I don't know. So they've already started doing that, Vic. What they've done now. Is some states she was watching on the news this morning? Some states are resetting the lockdown phase because you have different phases. Phase one is yeah. everybody where you can't go outside. Phase two is like a curfew, like we're 15 years old. Phase three is more open. Now certain states are relocking down now and starting back at phase one, so shutting the whole state down again. And then what, what happens the towards what happens towards flu? Like, what happens then? Are we just going to shut everything down all over again? Every time people get sick, we're just going to shut the country down. That's you. That's not going to happen. Because can... that's, 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 what the U, that's what the UK government was getting asked here. We know there's going to be a second peak. And it's probably going to be October or November. Possibly even before it. But it's probably going to be during winter. There is no way the UK government can shut the country down again for another three months because we'll end up going into 2021 completely and utterly bankrupt. Absolutely. Economic economic wise, this shit yeah. hurts. Like oh, yeah. Oh God. You have so many, so many places. Now you take things that are digital, that are online, they're flourishing. They're making bank because no one's leaving the house. Mm. Yeah, like like DoorDash, Uber, yo, their stocks are up because nobody, everybody's scared to go through the drive through like the Wendy's rapper is going to give you coronavirus. So you think it's any better sitting in a guy? It's crazy as DoorDash here. They smoke cigarettes when they when they deliver the food. So it's like what? when I get my sandwich, <laughs> it smells like a pack of fucking Newports. And I'm like, I don't want to eat this. Well, at least it doesn't have Corona on it. And then I just eat it anyway. It's... I, <laughs> <laughs> They're talking about defund the police. I say defund Uber. That's that's what I think should happen. But you know, whatever. But, I mean, here's here's the thing as well. The, the UK actually spent a sh the UK government spent a shitload of money here over the past three months. Now, and over in the United States, Donald Trump went. There's one thousand two hundred US dollars. Bye. Right. Over here in the UK, though, the UK government said to all the employers, "We will pay your staff." 80% of their wages, full stop. We will pay your staff 80% of your wages as long as you don't fire them. So they're furloughed, but they're being paid 80% of their wages. Wait, by their anybody staff. that has a job. It doesn't, it Everybody doesn't, that has a it job. It doesn't matter what your job position is. Yeah, doesn't matter. For, wait, how long did this last? Is this still going on? It's still going on, and it will it will slowly be wound down at the end of August, and it will cease at the end of October. It doesn't end there, though. I'm self-employed. We all know that. I'm self-employed, running a business mm -hmm. as vaping with Vic. Right. The government introduced a plan at the end of June for self-employed people who are sole traders. In other words, I'm not employing anyone, but I rent an office. Now, because I'm renting an office, I've got to pay rates, and the government said... He has ten thousand pounds. And then what? Then that's it. Then do you that's get it. that again, or is it's that a grant? It's a grant, so you don't have to pay it back. Don't have to pay it back. That's nice. That's nice. But how? But how many of those can your can your uh, country afford? How, how many? That's what I'm how starting many, to wonder as well. How how a many of those do they have to give out? Like apparently, the UK government has spent in the area of 450 to 500 billion pounds. Okay, so uh, this may sound, and it is probably a little bit out of your league, but you know how they always talk that America's in debt with all these countries and we all this money and other countries are in debt to us. So what is that like with UK? Is UK just loaded because you guys have those jewels, the royal jewels? <laughs> so, so that's worth money. You know, worst comes to worst, we can hit a pawn shop up. And we could sell the jewels, right? <laughs> so does UK have a lot of money to where they can just afford to do that? No, we don't. But we are we are not as heavily in debt as the United States is, though. 
what what is the population of all of UK? Just out of curiosity, like all of the UK. I think the last census that eighty was million. 60, no, it's nowhere fucking near that. It's only 65, 65 million. Population of Scotland. In fact, there's more people. There's more people living in the city of London than lives up here in Scotland. Scotland Where are you at in Scotland? Is Six million. Where are you? Are you by Edinburgh? Oh no, I'm on the west coast. Edinburgh's on the east coast. I'm are closer you, to Glasgow than Edinburgh. Are you? Are, is that north or south or yeah? You, you, where? I'm um, central, central Scotland. So do you have a lot of sheep up there? Sheep and yeah. goats. Yes, that's nice. Well, not so much goats. There's a lot of sheep though. Yeah, like the, Do you have the guys that walk with the sheep with the <laughs> with the pain? <laughs> Because when I think of Scotland, I think of two things, right? The first thing I think of Scotland would be Braveheart, right? Because he that's that's a true story based on a true story, right? That no? That's not no. It's Braveheart. There was a little there was a little bit of padding in that film. Of course, of, of course. Played, yeah. But he was a he was a he, he represented Scotland who uh, Mel Gibson played, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. What what was his name? The, the, well, who did he play? What was the role? William Wallace. William Wallace, right? So he was yeah. a crazy fuck from Scotland. So I think of that, and then I think of Miss Doubtfire. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I just kind of fill in the rest with just pastures, like lots of green and hills, and just nothingness. Just you have like a town here and there. Uh, it can't be a lot of people that live there. It's big though, right? It's the biggest out of all the UK. Scotland for for land, land for land area it's right. the biggest yeah for land. yeah yeah and least but populated only... right what? and least populated out of all of them no I would say that would probably be Wales that's the least populated that's the Welsh right yeah that's they, the Welsh they make the grape jelly Welsh grape jelly. <laughs> <laughs> And they great grape juice too. Welsh's yeah. farms. I don't think that has anything to do with Wales. Uh, I was no, actually. It I, no, I don't think it does. Uh, but it's okay. It's both Welsh. So I, I was looking for a reviewer, a vape reviewer from Wales. That's that's a tough find. That's There's a, tough a one. couple that I know about vaping with Mobro. He's from Wales. Vaping with Marlboro. So cigarette. Mo Mo Mobro. Mo. Okay. His R's are very dramatic. So, M Mulbro. No, no Mulbro. Mulbro, like a mullet and a brother mixed together? <laughs> yeah, mullet something brother. like that. Mulbro, Mulbro, <laughs> vaping with Mulbro. Okay. <laughs> I thought you said vaping with Marlboro. Well, that's... <laughs> I guess you're just kind of ready for two different sides. We can either go vaping or smoking cigarettes. Yeah, because you uh, never well, know how this industry is going to go. You don't know. You don't know. It'll good, be nice. Good. It'll be nice when we, we could finally figure out what the fuck is going to happen. Because what yeah. my mindset is, is that, uh, and of course, this is the unpopular opinion. I feel that right now, where we're at, I'm sure you're seeing this now as a reviewer, that you'll see more mods coming out, which is good. Because yeah. I, I think we're all tired of pods. But you you see in these mods, you see these sub ohm tanks, which is I never thought I'd see the day where I would actually be excited to do a review on a mod because all I've seen is pods. So I feel that for the next because September we have the deadline. I think it's September. That's 9th. right. Yep. So I think we're gonna see a lot of shit happen from now till September, and then it slowly fade away. But then yeah. I think after about a year or two, once there's more scientific evidence, there's more people fighting, or there's maybe it just fell by the wayside, we'll start seeing more um it, it kind of come back. Never be what it was in 2017 or 2018. Nah, I don't think it will. But I think it'll come back and I think that's when we'll see Rip Trippers again. So I'm super pumped up about that. Um <laughs> it's gonna be a real nice treat is when he finally comes back and he's like, hey guys I went back to small. This was this was gonna happen, Vic. Watch this. I I I stopped doing the vape videos. I was out walking, taking a hike, in my seventy five thousand Hellcat gas guzzler car, and I realized, man, this is boring. Let me light up a cigarette. So I was lighting <laughs> cigarettes. I was diagnosed with some type of disorder. I started writing in my journal. Paper mate. The link is down below in the description. 
And then I was like, I need to smoke a cigarette because I have too much anxiety from my anxiety disorder. But then I went back to vaping and I'm back. <laughs> this video. That's what I think is going to happen. Just like that. And that's him. Got That's him. That's him. But here's the thing, though. You, you've got to hand it to Rip. Motivational speaking channels, they make a fucking fortune. They, they do, but there's one problem with that, Vic. It's one thing. Look, I agree that it's your channel to do what you want. I get it. I understand it 100%. But if I have followers that followed me for vaping and I put yeah. my channel over to another direction that has no longer got to do with the people that followed me for vaping. Do you know how much shit I'm going to get? Regardless of whether or not it's okay for me to do, the amount of shit that you're going to get is going to be yeah. exorbitant. So yeah. you create a new channel, right? Because... It, well, that's what we did. Create a new channel. Yeah, that's it. You create a new channel. Yeah. You be, do what everybody else does and create a new channel. You're, uh, I, it's not that I disagree with it. It's just that now he can go to Papermate or Sticky Notes and say, listen, I have 1.3 million subscribers. I'm going to be yep. talking about writing in my journal today. Do you guys want to sponsor this video? Absolutely. 1.3 million subscribers. Yeah. Fucking right. Right. He definitely would. Right. So, you know, it's, people have used the argument and I'm not going to, I'm not going to say this, but people have used the argument and I'm speaking for people because people are too pussy ass bitches to say it themselves. <laughs> But people say that Rip Trippers is a con man. I mean, think of, look, look at it this way. I, I don't know if I would go that far, but look at it this way. You remember the dry knuckle shit? You remember that? Oh, I remember that. People want to fucking he, forget he about that. He pulled that video down so fucking quick. And so many people ripped it just as quick and re-uploaded it. But you you can't, you were, if you again, if, if you're going to say it's okay for him to go a different direction on his channel doing, it has to go both ways. So it's okay that he made that video promoting that powder because he was doing something else on his channel. But the, he was making money. Right. So basically what he was doing it for to make money. Right. So you can't use the, if you're going to use one argument, it's got to be across the board, man. You got to. It has say, to be. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do reviews on fucking Gatorade powder. I <laughs> <laughs> just whatever, man. I don't know. I don't know. How's your uh so today we are sponsored by Ghost. Ghost, uh, what I found is um we're gonna have to slide a banner in there. If I had a little deck, I would slide a banner down there underneath Vic. But today we're sponsored by Ghost. If you find that vaping has caused dry mouth or just anything that you realize that it's just not the right time anymore. This is a great powder that you're going to want to pick up because you, I, I was dehydrated. I was going to the sauna. I was sweating a lot. I just was not replenishing my electrolytes. My buddy told me, Jay, you got to go to the gym. You got to work out more. I did all that. Nothing worked. I, 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 was, I stopped eating fast food. I was having Thanksgiving dinner, and then I realized this was on the table. It's God <laughs> sent this to me, and I started using this, and I've lost weight. You may not see it, but I have. I can now see my penis when I look at myself in the mirror instead of looking down. This has saved my life. Link in the description down below. Thank you for picking it up. And uh, it will also help you out as well. So, <laughs> so is this why you've completely redone the screen? So you yes, so I can put, put those in, in later. I can just slide it in. Ghosts. Like, I don't, I don't even know what the fuck that is, but that'll work. Um, I, I don't know, man. I don't. <laughs> How did he just have some random powder that was sealed? Uh, it was sent to me by Ghost. Uh, what is that? That's an energy drink, right? Yeah. Oh, it, and it also helps you out. Jay, plug this in later. Uh, it also helps you out when you need energy and you feel that vaping has taken too much for you to inhale and exhale. That will give you more power in the lung esophagus region. It's fucking people. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's crazy. So, uh, how, how's your other channels going, Vic? Are you still working on those, or are you just really focusing on the, on the vaping side? I'm focusing on the vaping side. Um, it's I don't have the fucking time to run the other two channels. That's the problem, because it's been. like, here's right. more stuff coming in. Got to test those. Here's more stuff coming in again, because I thought, with the COVID thing going on, that China would just slowly ramp things down. But mm. since they're out of the lockdown, it's like, 
here's more stuff. Right, right. I, mean, I, just, I just got, in fact, I think you just reviewed them a couple of days ago, the, the new Freemax mods. Oh, God, I love it. Oh, they're I, good. Yo, wait till you good. try. I, I, I know a lot of people always talk about Freemax schools. Freemax, this, free, the Fire Lukes. Man, I'm telling you, the tank that comes with that, the coil. Oh, my yep. God, yo. Uh, amazing. But it's, it's what it's what they done with the mods with the reversible yep. battery thing. Uh, my never been done before. Mind was blown. It, it, it's never been done before. Now someone did make a comment about the Vupu two about being able to add a second battery. That's fine, yep. but that doesn't. That's not reverse polarity where you could do it any which way you want. You understand the batteries had to go in a yeah. certain way. This is the first mod, and of course, just like with any invention, people are like that's dumb. It's stupid. Did you think of it? No, you didn't. Nope. Right. So it's not dumb. It's smart because I can't tell you. I understand that vapors are getting lazier and they just they shouldn't they shouldn't have to look at a battery. <laughs> but it, it's it, the fact of the matter is, is it doesn't matter. It just it allows it to just do whatever it does. Yeah. I think that's badass. I think I'm so badass. Man. Did you see Tony B's new uh, the Pulse, the the Pulse 86? Or no. whatever the fuck it is, Pulse V5? I don't know. I'll probably, I'll, the, Vandy Vape will probably send it out, but no. It's like, I, if if I was Tony, sorry to see this, Tony. If I was Tony, gonna, I, would, so I would bookmark. I would just bookmark the Pulse name and move on to something new. Like That's Dead Rabbit. Doing. Like the Dead Rabbit. Just, yeah. just, just stop. Did you get bookmark the Dead Rabbit V2? It, move on. Did you did you get the Dead Rabbit V two? Oh, you mean the Dead Rabbit V one that's called the V two? Right, yeah, I got that. One. Or just the Dead Rabbit RTA, the same shit, just different things. <laughs> all they've done is they've taken it and tweaked a few things in the outside. The and top slapped V two yeah, on it. That's cap. all they've done. Yeah. But apparently, um, Heathen is supposed to uh, have some type of connection. So he's, I guess he's making money off of it. He just didn't want his to logo. Back. His logo is on the back of the box. That it is. It's there. That it is. Yep. But very, I guess very, very small, tiny logo that you can barely see, but it's still there. <laughs> yeah, may, maybe it was a matter of uh, just not coming out with another video. If I'm dragging you in too much drama, just to, to tell me to stop. <laughs> but, because... <laughs> uh, it, it's just it, well, it's not like he's gonna make a video anyway, so it, it doesn't really matter. He's not gonna come on and defend himself. It's just you know, it, there is a point where you have to say enough is enough. But I do get it that people have to make money. I understand that. Yeah, I, I, I do. I get it. I, I didn't even know he was doing reviews anymore, so I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Who, Tony B, uh, Tony B, and Heathen. Yeah, I think I think Tony B. Yeah, Tony B. Still doing reviews. I don't think Heathen's doing anything now, though. Yeah, it's been what four months since his last video. The one where he said he was coming back, and he didn't. Right. Yeah. 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 But yeah, Tony B. He's still doing reviews. He's still doing reviews. That's good. That's good. I, I know a lot of people have given up on it. You know, a lot of people have went different directions. Was it really? Can you blame them? Well, well, the, the well. Uh, my then my question is: Was it for the passion of vaping, or was it for the money in vaping? Which probably a mix of two. You think so? I think it'd be yeah. more for the money, because if the money's not coming in, um, and the products aren't coming in, my argument would be: Is why not just buy the products? That's my argument. That's a good argument, actually. Yeah, that's a good argument. Because if if, if your passion is to drive, right, you own a car, you're going to drive. If your yeah. passion is to ride a motorcycle, you're going to own a motorcycle and ride it. If your passion is to vape, you're going to vape. Whether you're doing reviews about, I don't know, fucking screwdrivers or or, or Q-tips or something that you can, you can still make videos on vape products. It's just I feel that there's no money in it, so it's time to go. I'm not no, saying isn't. all the reviewers. I'm just saying a majority of them. Which That's... just, which just, it just goes to show at has uh, it just. I mean, it just go, here's the thing, right? With me, mm -hmm. I am making enough money from the patrons, from the YouTube members, and a little bit from the subscribe stars, and a little bit like one or two fast tracks a month, which isn't much to be honest, to pay for the studios and keep this roof over my head, and I'm happy with that. There is an argument to be made, Vic. You're technically making, and a, a lot of people have said this to me since the since the new year, Vic. I am technically working for below minimum wage in the UK. 
I could easily shut everything down, give up the offices and go and work in a call centre and make 450 to 500 pound a week, which is literally three times more than I'm making right now. But I don't want to do that because I enjoy this. What do you say to the people that say, because there was a guy earlier in the chat saying that you're making $50,000 a month. I call bullshit on that, number one. Uh, but uh, <laughs> you know, 50, If I was making 50K a month, do you 50, think I'd still be in a fucking house this size? Yo, no. Listen, $50,000 a month is a lot of fucking money. Uh, that That is a lot of money. That Yeah, I don't, I don't think Vic is making $50,000 a month. I am making, well, the Patreon money is public. It's publicly viewable what I'm making there. Patreon is bringing in, Patreon is bringing in about, right now, $985 a month. So that is less than minimum wage. That's less than minimum wage. On top of that, on top of that, you've got the YouTube members. That's bringing in about £200 a month, which is about three you know in fact it's not even 300 200 pound a month that translates to around about 250 dollars a month right so add that to patreon subscribe stars bringing in 55 dollars a month so add all that together that's the amount of money why the subscribe star if you have the patreon because they're both the same thing so because i i've still got a sneaky suspicion that patreon's going to go down the road with vapors that youtube's going go no no, never. Yeah, I still no. think they are. Get the fuck no way. I, I, I thought really? to myself that well, here's the way they're, not, they're all in Silicon Valley. All of them are in Silicon Valley. The hatred for vaping in California right now, you can fucking taste it in the air. Where's Subscribe Star based out of? Uh, they are. They're are they in Cali Calif- as well? They're in, yeah, they're in Cali, but they're not in Silicon Valley. As thank you for I the donation. I didn't, I didn't see that. The first one, thank you for the 50 beans. Who is that? Darian, thank you, brother. And Jessica, thank you. You are amazing. I still have no idea what that is. That's like a pear, kiwi, guacamole thing. Uh, lovely little vegetable you sent me. Thank you. I know that's your uh, subliminal way of saying, Jay, eat more vegetables. You're too fat. Thank you. So uh, I'll be sure <laughs> to do that tonight. I don't I don't know if Patreon would I, I don't think that they would get involved with that. I, I, but, but what I do like with subscribe star is that you can do giveaways and shit on there. Can't so, do that on Patreon. Yeah, no, you can't do it on Patreon. That's what sucks. It sucks. The only way I mean, you the can way do it I, on Patreon I've seen it. O- open up a subscribe star now and just have it sitting there as an option just in case the worst happens. That's the way I've seen it. You really think that Patreon would shut down vapors? I still think they will sometime in the future. I don't even think YouTube will do it. I don't. I don't. I think YouTube will demonetize the shit out of us. Which and, they are. Right. And and yeah. remove us from the algorithm, because I'm sure you've seen your daily views versus what they were last year. Right? Uh, way fucking down. Way, way down. down. Yeah, I was doing 60. I, I'd say at my peak, I was doing probably 50 to 60K views a day. Now I'm yep. doing anywhere between 20 to 30. So yeah. big. I mean, it's still good numbers, but they're, they're, they're big differences. So the, the platform, I, I don't, I don't know. Way down. Yeah, I don't know if they'd remove us, though. That's, 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 that's pretty crazy. The thing is with me, I, I, I'm, I'm, an, I'm, I'm not a pessimist, but I lean more towards pessimism than optimism when it comes to YouTube and Patreon and Twitter. I'm more of a pessimist when it comes to social media these days. Mm. So much more of a pessimist. So would you consider yourself a liberal? I would consider myself old school. British liberal, not liberal because there's there's a difference between British liberalism and American liberalism. I'm old school British liberal. You would, in the political scale, you would class me as centre left libertarian. That's what I am. So, yeah, I, I don't know too much about British politics. Okay, so centre left, centre left libertarian. <laughs> it's like somewhere right in the middle is where you're. At. Got it. Yeah, okay. kind of okay. bouncing in the so, middle. So bouncing do you like? In the middle. Do you like Donald Trump? Are you a fan of Donald Trump? Here's the thing, Donald Trump. <laughs> Here comes the story. <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> I, I'd love to hear it. I, look, I'm open. I'm not gonna sit here and defend. I want to hear your side. Tell me what you think about America right now when you watch us on the news. 
here's the thing about Donald Trump. Mm. If you remove Trump and the way Trump talks and the way Trump acts mm -hmm. and you replace him with a middle class American, the the, the the Joe the Joe blogs of the middle white class in America mm -hmm. and ignore Trump. Trump has actually before COVID hit, remember, before COVID hit, the economy for the US was on the rise. Unemployment has the best it's been for more than three decades. And Trump has done more for the economy sure. and the working class than the last three presidents combined. The problem sure. Trump's got is what he says. It's his mouth. It never fucking closes. That's the problem Trump's got. And his fucking Twitter account. They should take his fucking <laughs> phone away and say, sit there and get more fucking work done. Get the fuck off of Twitter. Don't go on fucking Twitter. I I'll tell you this. I I'll tell you this. I'll be the first to tell you. When um, there was a guy that used to come in here every Sunday, we would shoot the shit. Uh, great guy, Andy Sigonello, lovely dude, older. And we would talk, you know, during all the debates when they were figuring out who was going to run for president back in 2016. And uh, Trump was, you know, on the ballot. I said, Trump is going to win. He's like, no way. No one's ever going to take him seriously. He's talking about grabbing people by the pussy. He's talking about fat white women. You know, he is just outside. I said, well, listen. Right. He hates Rosie O'Donnell, made that publicly available to everybody. Uh, yeah. But, you know, but the idea was, is that it was different. It was something mm. that we have not seen, you know, and and uh, you could loosely. I mean, I don't know how much you follow politics, but you could loosely compare him to Reagan. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. loose, but it, it, there there is similarities. And um, he, he does the thing with Trump. Is I can never watch when he does the rallies and the and the I, I, can't, and, I can't watch them either. It's not I just can't do it. It's not because of what he says. It's just that he says it so much. Like <laughs> <laughs> he'll say it like the same thing fifteen different ways. <laughs> and I'm like, God, dog, this is thirty eight minutes. You've been talking about the canine dog attacking people. Like, can you talk about something else? I just can't do it. But. I will say this, that whether it is a Democrat, it is a Republican, no matter what is in the office, I feel it is my duty as an American citizen to support whoever is in that position. Whether I because, agree yeah. or disagree with what their decisions are, I still have to support it because you're the captain of the ship. You know, mm. I'm, I'm not... I, 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 and, and, and the thing is with racism, you know, uh, Donald Trump is racist. It, it's ridiculous. It is it is absolutely ludicrous because prior to him being president, and you listen to a lot of hip hop songs, you listen to a lot of rock songs, they talk about Donald Trump a lot. But when he they became do. president, everything changed. Everything flipped. Now he's a piece of shit. He, he doesn't know how to run this, run this country. But I'll tell you what, you want to bet he wins again? Let's place bets because if his if his uh, adversary is Joe Biden, the guy that can't even finish an eight worded sentence, then have you listened to him speak, Vic? Joe Biden? Oh, Joe God. Biden. There, there was a, I can't, was it, I think it was the BBC. It might have been BBC News Twenty Four when it became apparent that Joe Biden was going to win the ticket for the Democrats because uh, because Sanders Sanders he stepped down and Biden took his place. And I think it was a I think it was a doctor said, looking at Biden's recent speeches, he looks as if he's in the early stages of dementia. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And you can hear like, yeah, you can. Oh, I, you want that to? I, I would think that he'd be in the office for about a month, and they would deem him not mentally fit to be a president. And then like, the vice president would take over, which will probably be Hillary Clinton. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know, that is the second time I've heard this in like three days. Thanks, <laughs> for, thanks for the 20 beans, Sean. If if he put Hillary Clinton as a vice president, did he even announce who the vice president would be? I don't think announce? he's announced yet. Oh, my God. It's either going to be Hillary Clinton or one of the communists. Well, they are communists. One of the communists for I mean, I... I'm I'm starting to lean away from Hillary Clinton and closer to Ocasio Cortez. The that's the military chick, right? The... No, that's that's not the military chick. It's Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. I think oh, she's the one in, with the glasses. Yeah. The one with the glasses. Yeah, her with the yeah, glasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. The younger, the military the younger chick. One. I think she was. Um, she's the one in Hawaii. Yeah, Hawaii, and she's. I think she's in a wheelchair or so, I something. Remember her name she, now. she got injured or something but yeah basically yeah joe biden versus trump 
Trump wins. Trump wins. Yeah, could you even imagine that in a debate? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would, Trump would just let him talk. Just, just go ahead and talk, bro. You're just burying yourself. Just keep going. Just keep... <laughs> In the middle of a sentence, he's going to be like, I picked a tomato from my garden, <laughs> made a sandwich. Yes, we're going to do that for the whole country. That guy is all over the place, man. I, I cannot I cannot stand by that. It's not even a matter. And, and I'm going to be honest with you, Vic. I'm not... Republican nor Democrat. I am not labeled as either as a voter. So, so you're center. Yeah, I'm I'm dead smack center. So I don't care what you are. As long as I believe in what you believe, you'll get my vote. That's it. Oh yeah. That's it. It's you know, I I I don't I don't care what side of the house you're on. I don't know, man. America's in a mess right now. Mess. As uh, as as and here's the thing: the UK was starting to head down that road with the there riots. The I heard about that. You guys eh? had riots, right? A bunch of riots yeah. there. Yeah, it was starting to head down that road. But then the conservative, the way it works here, the Conservative Party is generally centre right, kind of like the Republicans. The Labour Party is generally centre left, kind of like the Democrats used to be before they turned even further left and. When the Conservative Party won that landslide election at the end of last year, all of a sudden, all the craziness in the background mostly stopped. I mean, OK, I mean, Boris Johnston, royal, he's the prime minister. He royally fucked up the handling of COVID-19. That's going to be that's going to cost he him. He got in the next Corona election. too, right? He got Corona. Yeah, he got it. Yep. He kind of looks but like he, Donald Trump's little brother, right? He does. He's, he's like he's like he's like a he's like a. Donald Trump puppet that you'd buy off of Wish.com. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like missing a lip. Okay, got it. Uh, <laughs> so, so what is this I hear about? Uh, <coughs> who's this prince? Uh, prince <clears throat> Edward. Step down, oh, no, right? That. Step down. Or yeah, no, it's, the, it's to do with the whole to do with the whole Ghislaine stuff with the Epstein thing, right? I think is that Andrew or is that Edward? I think it's 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 one of the princes. How many princes do you guys have over there? I, I, like, I thought. Well, you've got Charles. He's he's in line to be king. I, but how do you Edward. have so many? I thought like once. Okay, so if I'm a king, right? I, help me out here. We're gonna work on some royalty here. So if I'm a king and I have a baby, I have a baby boy. That's a prince. Yep. Now, if my prince, my son, the prince, has a baby, is that also a prince? That's also a prince. So when does the prince line stop? Never. Technically speaking, the, the technically speaking, the way the royal family works, if the reigning monarch, right, the one who's on the throne right now, any any child that she gave birth to, or any child that the king's husband gave birth to, they would all be called prince or princess, right? Okay. All the way down the line, if they had fucking seventeen children, they wow. would all be prince or princess. Okay. But okay, where it stops is in the line of succession. So you've got Prince Charles, right. who's going to be king when when Queen Elizabeth dies. When Prince Charles dies, it will be Prince William, who's the firstborn son of Prince Charles. To become Prince king. Andrew and Prince Edward is the other two children, the other two male children of Elizabeth. Okay, so let, let's. you said Prince Charles will be king, yes? Yep. Okay, when is the last time UK has had a king? The last time would have been, it would have been Elizabeth's father, who would have been Prince or what the king. Wait, it wasn't Edward. Wait, her father. King George. I am so king fucking George. lost. So if 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 Prince Charles becomes king, does his wife become queen? Technically, yes. Nice. So if Prince Charles was to die, the queen would reside, not his son. If was, Prince Charles was, if Prince Charles would, to, if if Prince Charles died right now, no, no, as he's king, he's king, or as he's king, yeah, and his then, wife's the queen because they're married, right? And he Charles dies, his son would take over. The, so the queen is irrelevant then. The queen's irrelevant. It's the reigning monarch. <laughs> You're just confused. You can no, no, it. it's uh, I get it. So, so queen means absolutely shit after Elizabeth then. Unless there's like a daughter somewhere in that line. 
the reason the reason that Queen Elizabeth became queen and yeah. Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, the Queen's husband, the reason she became queen is because George didn't have an elder son. So Got she it. was in line for the she was in line for the crown. Okay, but but just just a quick recap, right? Because I need to learn I need to learn royalty. Uh so so King, so if Prince Charles becomes king, his wife becomes queen. Yes? Technically, yes. And yep. she can make laws like he can make laws. No. 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 Why Only not? the reigning monarch can. When you're saying monarch, can you break that down to me like I'm three years old? Are you just mean the person that is of bloodline? Is that the, the person that's the person that's sitting on the throne? Okay. That's the so monarch. what would happen if there's no kids left? How do they select a new king or queen? They just if pick there's one? No, if there's no kids left, right, it would it's all go done. Everybody's right, gone. if there's no kids left on That's Charles's it. bloodline, then it would either be Prince, it would either be Prince Andrew or yeah. Prince Edward. The next one's down the line. How many fucking princes do you guys have over there? So I lost, I've lost fucking count to be honest, because it's not just that you've got, you've got, you've got Andrew, Edward, Anne, and Charles. That's the Anne? four kids. Anne? Yeah, Princess Anne. Okay. Yeah, you, you don't see much of her because she keeps she keeps to herself. That's the four kids of Queen Elizabeth. Do they get paid? For oh yeah, being, they get paid just to be royalty. Just like... yeah, just just to be royals. Oh, okay. So how <laughs> does how does one how does one get knighted? How do I how do I get there where they they do the sword around my head? Okay, the the okay. quickest the quickest way to get knighted is to, to do a, a shitload of work for charity. Okay, because I want to be Sir J. Hayes. <laughs> Either do a lot of philanthropy work or do a lot uh, do a lot of philanthropy work, a lot of entertainment work. Okay, or I could do that one. The other way you can get in, the other way you can get in, is the public nomination process. But you need to be very, very fucking famous to be nominated. Do I have to go? Do I have to live there to be knighted, or can they just randomly pick an American citizen and say we want to make him a knight? I I don't think you do need to live. I think they changed the rules about that. It used to be the case you had to live in the UK, but I don't think you do now. Okay, you so you could just. Well, Robin Williams was knighted, right? Well, he I think Robin Williams got a CBE. He wasn't Sir Robin Williams. What's the CBE? Commander of the British Empire. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you guys just giving out labels and shit? Like, I well, could just... Get C, you've, get, you've got CBE and KBE, which is Knight of the British Empire. And that's like the superior one, like you are. That's the knight. superior one. Do they give you like a joust? <laughs> or like a suit? <laughs> Like, you're a knight. You get a shield with a cross on it now. Like, do you get some kind of... Like, do you get to keep the sword? Do you do something... No, you don't get to keep the sword. You don't get to keep the sword. No, you don't. Mm, you don't. See... But the thing is, what you would want to go for, you would want to become a lord. You wouldn't want to become a sir. A law? Like a law? Lord. L-O-R-D. Oh, they said lord. Okay, lo no, lord. lord. Oh, lord. lord. Oh, how, is lord that... J. Is because that upgraded, then, technically, right? then technically, you would have a seat oh. in the House of Lords. Oh, could I become a warlord? Could I? Could I? Is there <laughs> is there a superior lord out of all of those? Wait, so no, the, like, no that, that that doesn't work now. <laughs> that doesn't work anymore. Um, okay, because Ras Simone did it in Chop, so I was hoping that I could do it as well. I got to do something. Oh, <laughs> I got to get the the boots on the ground. So the the lord part is that harder than the knight, and is it the same uh, way of doing it? The lord part is when you when right. You've got Sir, yeah. Sir J. Hayes. Right. You've got Lord, which would be Lord J. Hayes, which mm. means you now have a seat in the House of Lords, which means you're now directly involved, albeit on the outside, with the running of the country. But I can't do that if I'm not a citizen of UK. No, you can if you're a Lord. So I could be a... I could... Shut up. I could... Wait, I could help laws in UK all while sitting here? Yeah. Oh if, God! If you're I a gotta lord, get... if you're a lord, and you're actually granted the title of lord, not only do you get the title, you also get land given to you, usually. So I get land and a title, and yeah. I can help laws. 
You yeah. need to write an instruction manual, a step by step of how I get this. And I will, I'm going to put in the paperwork. I want to do it. I want to be it. I want to, I, as long as I don't have to wear that big ass muffin top that those guys wear with the, with the, with the, the, the British soldiers that sit inside of the outhouse. Oh no, that's, that's the military side of things. You don't need to do that. I don't want to do any of that. I want to, I want to be above that. <laughs> But wait, does Scotland have kings and queens? We did until the Act of Union that you had King you had King James the Second of Scotland, who then fell into line to become King James the Fourth of England, and both monarchies merged. And what happened? Well, about I think the monarchies merged in the 1600s, and oh, then this from, is a while ago. Okay. Yeah, this oh, was this a, was a like fucking long 80s. time ago. I thought this was like 20 years ago. Okay. So you guys have no royalty. So it, Well, we do. We've got Queen Elizabeth. But that's that's the whole country. That's the whole island. Oh yeah, that's the that's the whole country. No, yeah. I'm saying just Scotland. Like you got uh, nah. okay. Nah. All right. Oh, well, you know. You yeah, the cr- the crown the crown's merged in the 1600s and then the the Act of Union hit in 1701 and Scotland became part of Great Britain. And that stopped all the wars. But you, you, but but you still had wars afterwards. Plenty. Oh yeah, there was there was a couple of little skirmishes along the border now and again, but that hasn't happened for centuries now. Mm. Mm. So how are you? Are you guys having? Uh, I heard about statues coming down over there in the UK, like uh, how they're doing here in America. Are they? Doing- they managed to yeah. They managed to stop it though. Uh, the police just walked in and went fuck off. What's it? Yeah, the police just walked in and went, nope, you're not taking that down. They were, they were trying to pull down Winston Churchill's statue. That's when the police stepped in. Winston Churchill, he's 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 the guy that made the Winston cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> and he built a church on a hill. Yes? <laughs> no, it's World War II. I know who Winston Churchill is. <laughs> it was... <laughs> Just, he's related to the vape Marlboro guy. Like, <laughs> Winston Churchill. Uh, yeah, I could see. I could see their. I mean, we we went as far as destroying the uh, Lincoln Memorial. So you know, I, there is no. Well, I mean, here. statues of Thomas Jefferson were pulled down. It's right. like what's one of your founding fathers for fuck's yeah. sake? Yeah. And the man Seriously? that helped, and the, and the man that helped to end slavery, you destroyed yeah. that statue. Good fucking job. Good. Now you're making a point. He had, he, had a, he had a big hand. He had a big hand in the Independence Letter. He had a big yeah. hand in the Constitution as well. Oh. What? Oh yeah. And it was funded by free slaves. Yeah, and it was funded by free slaves. Yeah. So that's yeah. Good. that's good. It's a good point you're making. Good job. Just keep going. Just keep destroying it. I I don't know, man. It's fucking nuts. I heard about it. Uh, I heard about the UK. There was a guy that was running around. Uh, what was, he was? Shit. He was tagging something like doing graffiti on certain statues. And the cop I was watching a video of it. And the cops beat the shit out of him somewhere. In the- oh, yeah. And just that's, uh, that, that works. That's because they don't have any guns yeah, think- or anything. Right. They're called bobbies. Bunch of yeah, bodies. they're called bobbies. Bobbies on the bit. Well, there, there is the you, you, you've got you've bodies. got the SWAT team. They they're armed, but your normal everyday policemen on the walk, they don't have guns. They wear a little yellow vest and shit, right? With a little yeah, and they've got a, they've got a baton to smack you over the head with, or a t- some of them carry tasers, but they don't carry guns. Is that no. the same thing in Scotland? Oh, it's the same up here. Yeah. So everywhere in in UK, no one carries like pistols and shit. Like that's not a thing. That's not a thing here. Mm. Because we don't have the Second Amendment. Guns are guns. Open carry or carry just doesn't happen here. What about you just owning? Own. What about just owning? What, what about if you just want to own a gun? You can't own a gun? Like in you, your house? If, if you, you need a damn good reason. You, you need to be either a member of one of the rifle clubs to go out shooting like some of the lords and ladies do go out grouse nice. shooting and pheasant hunting and shit nice. like that. Okay. But for a general, for a general everyday working person like myself, if I wanted to get a gun, I would simply be refused because I have no need to actually own one. What if you have a rabbit problem? <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> 
Yeah, I'd like I'd like an AR fifteen, please. I've got a bit of a rabbit problem in the back door. <laughs> Now listen, I need I need a thirty odd eight just because I got a lot of rabbits. So, um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's a good enough reason. I, I don't know, maybe not. I don't know. Guns, guns are just not really a thing here. They're really not. What about drugs? What about drugs? Are drugs well, a problem? I mean, like there is the drug streets? problems here, but th- there is drug problems here, but they're not as bad as it is over in the United States. There is drug problems here. That's a given. And most of the drug lords, they're all armed, which is why the SWAT team goes after them. But generally speaking, the, the, the cocaine and heroin was a bad thing up here in Scotland, especially in Glasgow during the 80s and the 90s. But now, not so much. Not so much now. Because the National Health Service stepped in and went... We will give you free treatment. We will give you free prescriptions to wean you off the hard drugs as long as you keep coming in for your regular appointments. And the drug the drug usage did go down quite a bit here. That's good. That's good. Yeah, because I'd say like the drug, though you said drug lords. I'm starting to think that the people that are lords are actually dealing <laughs> drugs. But I think you just mean a different terminology of it. So, but the drug lords themselves, like the drug people, they got guns. Right. Oh, yeah, they've got guns. Yeah. yeah, they got guns. Sure, sure. And no bobbies are going to go arrest them because they got, you need to send in somebody with some type of arsenal to go. Yeah, it's the SWAT them. team. It's the SWAT team that all the fully, fully fucking armored and loaded, loaded with fucking all sorts of, they get sent in. Yeah. Sure, sure. That's, that's super cool. Does bobbies have like another type of meaning to it? Because if someone's like, oh, hurry, the bobbies are coming. That doesn't sound serious. Do they call them cops or just bobbies? Like if, if a bunch of guys are hanging out and they're like, whatever, getting their drink on at the bar, or they're like, here comes the fucking bobbies. Like, is well, that what depends. they say? Or because that it just de- sounds corny. Like, is it there- depends where you are. I think okay. the further south in England you go, they're usually called bobbies on the beat. But up here in Scotland, they're usually called they're usually called cops or the polis. The polis. <laughs> the polis. The polis. P O L I S. Okay, so you're saying it proper. I'm saying it incorrect. I say police. You actually as actually police, but Scottish slang. It's the polis. The polis. Okay. All right. So bobbies is the is the proper terminology for it. Bobby, if you're in England, do they get paid a lot of money? What? Do they get paid a lot of money? The the bobbies. I I don't think they do. To be honest, I don't know. It's probably not a lot of requirements, right? Like, I mean, you, you just carry around a stick. Like, Oh, no. For here, well, police training. You've got to train for two and a half to three years before you become a policeman in the UK. What do you train for for two and a half to three years? I don't know. <laughs> but that's how long the training is. What the fuck? Yeah, you know, I, it's crazy because the other day I was looking this up, right? Someone told me about this. And I said, there's no way this is true. Get ready. I'm going to blow your mind right now. So in, in America, depending on what state you're in, that you have a barber's license, right? You know what a barber is. Someone like cut you. Oh, yeah. So a barber's license, again, this is dictated very heavily by state, but it is in New Jersey is 1,500, 1,526 hours. So 1,526 hours to get it. To become a police officer is 303 hours. So it takes, you, yeah, no shit. It takes, it's easier for you to become a cop than it is for you to become a barber. That is, does not what? blow your mind. That blows your mind. It blew my mind. I said, shit. So <laughs> I, and, cause I was talking to a barber. He's like, man, I had to go to school for two years before I could cut hair. That two is years. insane. Oh yeah. It's a real fucking thing, man. So you got yeah, to think over, over over here for the police. It's two and a half to three years to become a firefighter. It's a year and a half to two years training. What about paramedics? Paramedics, they get wrapped in. They get wrapped in with the ambulance service and with the A and E department for hospitals. That's about. I think Pud's in here. He's a nurse. I think that's about two. Two and a half years training as well, from what I remember. Oh, that's a lot. That's it's long. Training. It's long period of training. Long period of training. That's crazy. That's a lot of time, man. Three hundred hours, though. What yeah. the fuck? Three, I think it's three hundred and ten. Again, that's ve- that's dictated very heavily on where you're at, what the town requirements are. But the average is three hundred hours. Average. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. 
It's crazy. Um, what I want to ask you, I want to ask you something about Scotland. <laughs> so are you guys still doing vape expos over there? Oh, no. 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 The big, the big expo, the, the Vapor Expo UK should have been happening in May. That didn't go down because the, the country was locked down. Now, on the Vapor Expo website, they're still saying the one at the end of October is on. You can buy the tickets, but I don't know. I don't think it will be. But the, you went to the last one, right? What was it? What was it like versus the year prior to that? Was there a lot of people there, like there always was, or has it died down exponentially? Well, the the last one I went to would have been the October Expo 2019, the one last year. Mm -hmm. It was. It looked busier. I'll be honest. It actually looked busier. Really. I mean, you need to remember, it's the, the, the UK Vapor Expo takes up half of the National Exhibition Centre. You're talking 350 to 450 vendors. Was it a lot it's of juice or was there hardware there as well? It was about 60% juice, 40% hardware. Wow. And there was a modders gallery where all the fucking rich people went to buy their expensive mods. That was a new thing they implemented at the end of last year as well, the modders gallery. They were there. And, but you're saying the one that was supposed to happen in May didn't go through, and then the yeah. one that is happening in October is still happening, but you're probably going to have to wear a mask to go in there. Yeah. If, if, if it goes ahead, it's going to be... I don't know how they're fucking going to do it, because see if social distancing is still in place? How the fuck are you going to social distance in the middle of a fucking vapor expo? How's that going to work? <laughs> I, I, I think so but but now you said in Scotland they're making it mandated to wear a mask. Is that is that all of UK or just Scotland? That's just Scotland right now. Um in England, right, in England you have to wear a mask if you're on public transport. But up here in Scotland, the Scottish government popped in if you're also going into shops, wear a mask. I don't think you need to do that down south yet. I don't think so. Yeah, so when they have their expo, you're going to have to wear a mask, which is going to be, um, and then you have to, so you have social distancing there as well. So you have to stay six feet away from somebody. So that's. Well, here's the difference again. Up here in Scotland, they're still seeing two meters. Down south in England, Boris Johnston mumbled something about two meters and then said, if you can't manage two meters, one meter instead. Which is, which is three feet. Yeah, which is three feet. <laughs> what the fuck, Boris? <laughs> so in scotland what do you have you have a president what do you have a prime minister too we have a first minister okay and he answers to the prime minister she oh she yeah nicola sturgeon uh she she right now it's the scottish national party that's got the majority in the scottish parliament uh nicola sturgeon has got the power to raise or lower taxes. She also has the power to generally run some aspects of Scotland, but the final say is still with Westminster down south in England. Wait, what, what was her name? Nicholas? Nicola. Oh, I thought you said Nicholas. Okay. Yeah, Nicola Sturgeon, as in the fish, Sturgeon. Wow. Okay, so, the, okay. so no matter what, you still answer to... The prime minister to all. Of oh yeah, the yeah, the, yeah. Boris Johnston and Westminster still have the final say in things. They still did, do. Did did what's it called? Breast breast bre bre breakfast Brexit Brexit <laughs> Brexit. Bre that, did that Brexit. go through? I said breakfast. I don't know why I thought of that. Uh, did Brexit go through? Are you now uh, your own thing? Are you or are you um, still part of the European Union? Brexit happened at the end of January, uh, January the 31st. So technically, we are no longer part of the European Union. However, there is a transition period going on right now. Uh, for all intents and purposes, when December the 31st this year hits, that's it. We're gone. We're out. We're gone. That's, uh, and that's a good thing, right? That you're not part of that. You're doing your own. Well, for me, that for me, that's a good thing because I voted to leave. To what? Come to America? Or no, I just no, I just I just voted to leave the European Union. Oh, there was a vote, so you guys have like a democracy. 
Oh yeah, it was it was a, it was a re- it was a full out referendum back in 2016. The then Prime Minister David Cameron said we're going to put this to the public, and it, it was a fucking slim majority, but the majority of the British people said we want out. Wow, wow, that's cool. That's that's nice to not be part of it anymore. I guess now you're your own thing. Yep. Good. I mean that's. And you don't see the vape laws affecting you guys like they are in these other countries where they're talking about banning flavors and shit? Because the nah, Netherlands I, is going I, through that I, now? No? I highly doubt that would happen here because the, the NHS are already seeing this is the government-run health service. The government gives it money and they run it. The NHS are now seeing openly to people walking into hospitals, vaping's better than smoking. Hell, there's, there's, a, there's vape shops opening up in fucking hospitals down south. And, and that, so I don't think Scotland, there's going to be flavour bans here. But in, but in England, right? Not so much in Scotland. Not so much here in Scotland. There was there was murmurings going on with a couple of the university, like the the the, the you get university hospitals, which is where trainee and trainee doctors and nurses go to train up. There was a couple of rumours going about that some of the university hospitals up here may end up opening up vape shops, but nothing happened. Nothing happened. Wow. Yeah, I don't see I don't see that ever happening here. No, I can't see that yeah, there either. Not here. Nope. Not where we're at. <laughs> Shit. It's just it's just getting worse and worse and worse and worse, man. States just And now it's like I even as me shipping to a different state, a lot of states have banned it as well. So it's just it's slowly chipping away, man. Um, well, there's the whole U- there's the whole USPS ban that's being debated as well. How's that going on? I, I, it's just kind of sitting waiting on votes. I, I don't think that that's that big of a deal. I think it's more of a big of a deal come September because that's going to happen yeah. before anything else. And I, 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 dude, a lot of people, Vic, they people will argue with me that you don't need PMTAs for screws. Uh, any part of an RDA or an RDA. You need it for everything. You need it for, as long as everything. it causes that to make it work, it needs to have a PMTA. And people are not, they just don't get it. They're just, yeah. they don't care. It's September. It's, it's three like, months. It's out. like, I remember, I remember one of the arguments, I think it was on my group, actually, my Facebook group. It was like, this little fella, a drip tip. Oh, you yep. don't need a PMTA for that. Yes, you, yes, do. you do. Yes, you do. You do. And you'll also need a PMTA for those O-rings because that dr- anything that goes on the tank or yep. in the tank, you need a PMTA for it basically. Yep, because anything. without those O-rings, it won't stay in there. So, yep. I mean, would it be an easy PMTA? Yeah, but it still needs one. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's it's, it's that simple. Scary. Yeah, it's fucking nuts, man. But let's worry about advocacy. I think you need to worry about what's happening in September. I think that's more important. But what do I know? I don't know shit. And this this is why this this is why all you can do because here's the thing the PMTA hits in September then you've got October November which is the election over in the United States right Joe Biden has already said he would shut vaping down he's already said it no Joe Biden will not be president listen oh my God if he becomes president we are in a lot of trouble yeah we we. Not not even just vapors, just people in general. We're in trouble. Mm. <laughs> He's gonna start bombing the wrong countries. <laughs> we should move to Canada. Can I don't I don't know how Canada's got it going right now. Canada vaping. Can't do that bad. They got lots Canada's of- Canada was starting to go down the road of the U.S., but they've they've done a one eighty because there was the whole flavor ban thing that was being discussed in Canada, and then it all stopped. It all stopped. I don't know what happened up there, but something made them stop. So Canada is basically more. There is some restrictions, though. Like oh the, yeah, there's there's some restrictions. Yeah. Yeah, like the boxes and the, mm-hmm. the, like the logos and shit can't be showing. Yeah, like it, I, I don't know as far as juice is concerned. But yeah, up in Canada, I think that they're not pro vaping, but they're not anti vaping either, right. which is a good thing. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Mm. Yeah, Kanye West for president. Yeah, I see that. Oh, yeah. God. Uh, let me just clear this up right now. Okay, I'm going to just make this clear. Kanye West cannot run for president. Let me explain why. Because he has to register with FEC, 
right, to get on the he, ballot, number one. And he's too late. It's too late. Even if he yeah. did it on a rush rush, there's no way he's going to get it done. And then number two, a lot of states, the ballots are already closed, 17 yep. states. So even if he wanted to, he couldn't get votes in 17 of those states. So it, it, he can't. People, you know, this, I think it's a ploy, honestly. I think it's to help Donald Trump out. That's what I think it is. I, I would have a better chance in 2024. Yeah. Yeah, 2024 is the problem. Here's the question, right? Here's the question. We don't have this problem here in the UK because we've got Boris Johnson, who's relatively young, re relatively young. We've got the leader of the Labour Party, who's roughly in his mid to late 40s. Trump is old. There's no getting around it. <laughs> Biden is old. There's oh. no getting around it. <laughs> Older. <laughs> Older. Bernie Sanders is not going to run for the Democratic ticket again. He's already said it. Who's there to replace them in the next election? Think about it. There's, there's, no, there's no star headliner for the Democrats or the Republicans when Trump, Biden, and Sanders... Well, that's the whole thing the with Trump, is no one expected Trump to run. You know, like, you, you usually yeah. have senators, like Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz will probably run again. Um, you know, you, you have certain people that would run, but it, as far as Democratic side, I I don't know. How, how old is Hillary? How old is she? She's, I, I don't know, 70? She's she's in her mid-late 70s, I think. I mean, she may try to... I, I, I feel like there should be an age cap yeah, I, I, and there's not. There's an age minimum, which is 34, but there's no age cap. You, you seriously, Bree? These kids have got to be 13 years old. Okay. Oh my God, they literally got to be 13. Um, yeah, there's a there's a minimum age of 34, but as far as a cap, I think you can literally be 85. It doesn't matter. I, I that blows my mind. But you yeah. could be you, Boris, right? Could be prime minister for how long? How long? Boris Johnson, Boris. There's there's no term limit for prime ministers here. He can be he can be prime minister for as long as he's voted in, or for as long as the Conservative Party want him, and that's what happened to Margaret Thatcher. Oh, they could just get Tha rid of you. Oh yeah, they got rid of Thatcher. Wait, Margaret when Thatcher's Thatcher, popularity started Margaret going Thatcher down, they got rid of her. Wait, wasn't she an actress? Margaret Who? Margaret Thatcher. No, she was the prime minister. She obviously wasn't a good one if they got rid of her. Oh no, they no, but she she started going nuts at the end though. She got she got fucking insane at the end. Like That's Joe why Biden. the conservatives get rid of her. Like Joe Biden just losing her yeah. mind. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's why they got rid of her. But she she stood for I think it was four. It was either three elections or four elections. Because she was she was the prime minister for Ronald Reagan, and then Reagan left, and I think it was Clinton took over, from what I remember. Yeah, it was Reagan, then Clinton, I think. Was she it? Was, or was it... Or was it Reagan and Bush? Bush. Senior. Bush Senior. Yeah, Bush Senior. So she, I think she was the Prime Minister for Reagan and for Bush Senior, and then the Conservatives got rid of her and replaced her with John Major, who was a fucking idiot. How How is the UK in regards to, like, abortion laws? That's a sensitive topic. That is a sensitive talk, uh, topic, but ab abortion law here falls mainly on the side of pro-choice. Wow. Really? Mainly on the side of pro-choice. Yep. That is interesting. And you guys don't have the death penalty over there in the UK, right? Oh, no, we got rid of that ages ago. So no capital punishment at all? No capital punishment. You're just locked up in prison for life. Do they have a lot of prisons in Scotland? Um, How would you define a lot? Okay. <laughs> so if you were to drive 100 miles, how many would you pass? If I was to drive 100 miles in any direction, I would pass two. Yeah, that's not a lot. That's not a lot. Of There's people. more down. So again, remember, Scotland's not as populated as England. There's most of the prisons are actually down south. Down in England. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because it's a far bigger population down there than up here. I wonder how your laws are versus like if they're more draconian versus ours that are kind of updated every fucking day because <laughs> it's, it's just a new law today. This is what's going to happen. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I feel like America just creates new laws on the fly. Just, oh, here's a new one.
So I, I, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I, I, it's crazy that you guys are pro-choice in UK. Wow, I would have not ever guessed that ever. Well, a bo- the National Health Service, run by the government. So the government pay- pays for the abortion. Yeah. They actually perform the abortions. Now, there is a difference of opinion when it comes to the individual countries that make up the UK, but the UK government is still sitting on the pro-choice fence. How do you feel towards it? I'm pro-choice as well. There is there there is there is circumstances where a woman either cannot have the birth because it would it would essentially risk her own life mm-hmm. or does not want to have the birth in the circumstances where she was impregnated, for instance, she could have been raped. And in those cases, it's better it's better to be on the side of pro choice than pro life. Oh, I'm a, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the pro choice as well. I, I just, yeah. Uh, I mean, this is this is like one of these sensitive things where people get upset and they they want to argue and try to voice their opinion and say, that, "Oh, yeah, it's, it's a topic. You, yeah, it's a topic you I, can't talk about because." But I, oh. I disagree. With you. Why why can't why can't people have a dialogue? You know, why can't people? Why can't even if I was to disagree with you, I wouldn't automatically write you off. Okay, we just disagree on that. I mean, that's. The, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you exactly why we can't have a dialogue anymore, Jay. Why is that? Because of the progressive left. <laughs> Which you're part of. Um, so- no, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm fucking not. <laughs> you, said, you said specifically, and I quote, I am more center left. So I think of left, I think of progressive. So center no, left. No, no. There, there, you're- there's, there's a difference. There's a difference. Right. There's a difference. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Okay. Where do you think Ronald Reagan sat on the political spectrum? Well, it depends on what you mean. Like, are you talking about when he ran or while he was president or while like his beliefs? President. While he was president. Democratic. Yeah. So he leaned slightly more towards the left. See, this this is the problem. You've got old school left. Old school. I've brought this up before on my other channel, that old school yeah. Democrat versus new school, and people ripped me apart. I think it was all the new school Democrats, to be honest. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think that's what it was. I said, because in the 80s, Democrats were for the working people that, yeah. you know, like it, it was different than what it is now. Now it's, it's just, I, I don't even know what it is anymore. It's just, I protesting rallies and against the government that's what it is so you've you've got you've got old school left and old school left is the same like liberalism true liberalism is the same over in the united states as it is over in the united kingdom the founding fathers were liberals freedom of choice freedom of expression freedom to protest the government that's what america was founded on but the problem is As the Republican Party has shifted closer to the center, look at what the Republicans are doing. They're shifting away from the right. They're going closer to the center ground to get the casual, silent majority, as Trump calls it. Okay. What does the Democrats do? They went fucking batshit insane left. Right, right. So in UK, so in UK as a whole, right? Do do you guys like? Are you in the same? field that we're in as america or are you more towards the right as a country like not as a country as as all the countries as an island as united kingdom are you more right or left as far as you're meaning overall with the government overall overall right now the uk is leaning more towards center right but it's getting closer to the center as we go on. But right now we're center right. So just kind of what's good for all the people, basically, yeah. versus just okay. Okay. Yeah. But here's here's the major the, the major difference, right? For the people that want to separate the lunatic asylum left from the left like me. The left like me, equality of opportunity. The insane left, equality of outcome. That's the two major differences. Equality of opportunity means this. Whether you're black, whether you're white, whether you're Asian, you should have an equal opportunity to do the best that you can. Equality of outcome basically means you may suck at your job, but you're going to get a promotion and free money and unicorns and bunny rabbits. That's (laughs) That's the major fucking difference between the two. 
And that's a real belief, the equality of outcome? That's a thing that they believe? Equality of outcome is what the, is what the SJWs and the lunatic left all believe in. They all believe in equality of outcome. SJWs for you old people in here. He's talking about social justice warriors. That's what that is. And you got to be careful about what you say on a lot of these platforms because, well, um, <laughs> you, they, they could disagree with this all they want. But, I mean, you, you, you look at YouTube, they, they usually lean more towards the left. They do. They will censor. I don't. I don't know if you've ever watched the Hodge twins, uh, Vic. Oh yeah. Oh, oh my! I love, love, love them. Love them with a passion. Well, look uh, at what happened to Ste. I don't know if you've watched Stefan Molyneux on yeah, YouTube. Yeah. They got rid of him. Yep. Get rid His of him. Channel's gone. Yeah. They. They've even talked about loosely getting rid of Ben Shapiro, who yep. I, I wouldn't. I mean, yeah, he's a conservative, but I would not consider him far right. Uh, he's old school conservative. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's old school. I, I just, I don't, I don't know. I think it's crazy that you can speak your mind of what you want uh, on on the far left, but if you do that on the far right, you're racist. And this is the big difference between you're the far right. left and the far right, or even the right for that matter. The right believes in freedom of expression. Yeah, but you've got to have freedom of consequences for that expression. Absolutely, the far left. They want freedom of expression, but they don't want the consequences no of it. Uh, and you know what it is, what you see a lot of these kids on the street that you see doing these protesting and shit. I, I, I hate to bring this into it, but I really think that it is the parenting, right? It's the, the parents that couldn't discipline their kids, so their kids got whatever they want. So they get out on these streets, they say what they want with no repercussions. I'm not going to get punished. I'm not going to get uh, spanked or, or whatever or hit. There is... It's whatever. I could do whatever I want. And if people don't like what I what I want, then I'm just going to keep pushing my opinion towards you. It's mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we're going to film it and post it online, and then we're going to rob banks and uh, try to get into a safe. Like, it's just, if you look at where we're at as a country, when you and you watch the news, right? Because uh, the, the, the news is what portrays the country to the rest of the world because people can't see it. When you look at the news, it makes us look so freaking bad like oh my it looks so bad you you can't get anything positive out of that no and if you no. speak against the news you're racist <laughs> yeah yeah no it's, matter it's, what no matter what you're racist yeah. it doesn't matter it, it, uh, it's it's just utter insanity that's 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 what's happening right now that's what's happening right now over in the united states the first amendment lays down the law for the government to give people the right of freedom of religion. It gives the press the I right so to the freedom to, of the press. And I feel so strong to that First Amendment, freedom of association. The, I feel... But, oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. But here's the kicker. The First Amendment also gives people the right to peaceably protest. Now, sure. I don't care if you're Black Life Mars. I don't care if you're LBGTQX. Yep. Sure. If you've got a banner, if you've got a banner and you're walking down the middle of Broadway shouting your chance, you've got the right to do that. Yep. But the minute you start throwing bricks and burning down buildings and burning of down innocent ass people, it is no longer a protest. It's not a protest. No. It's a riot. That is exactly what that is. And yep. that needs to be handled. Like yeah. someone's got to get a control. I got goosebumps uh -huh. right now. Someone has got to get control of this because yeah. if you yep. don't, this will, this, you mark my fucking words. This will start a civil war. A civil One. war. Give me two minutes. Hold on. Okay. All right. So while he's away and we're looking at his chair in his messy room. Um, all right. So the, uh, I'm just going to read some of the chat here. They're fucking English. Also look terrible in news, but so mildly accurate and I'm English. Yeah, Mr. Rainer, I'm not going to lie. I, I don't really watch a lot of media that is covered, you know, uh, via uh, British broadcasting channel, BBC. I, I don't really watch a lot of that. Uh, all I could say is that what I do see is probably the dramatic shit, like what we see here or what you guys see on the media when... Uh, our, our networks broadcast it. Back had to go to the loo. That's all, that's all right. Um, it, it's just it's it's crazy that, I, and I and I don't see an end to any of this. Like you you still see now people still rioting and uh, destroying statues. Oh my god, bro! It gets it's so crazy. It really is, Vic. 
And you you don't the, you don't know it because you don't see it. You only see what the media showed you. I yeah, see that firsthand. Yeah. Like I I don't know. I don't know. But that's what I mean. I watch a lot of Tim Pool. Who... Tim Pool's good. Tim Pool's good. He, he's centrist. He's, ah, I would say the opposite. You think he's center, really? And well, he, he tries to be center, but I think he's center left or pre- probably even left, to be honest. Really? Yeah. T- Tim Pool, I'd say, yeah. is more right. Because... Well, I wouldn't go right with Tim Pool. He's he's very against YouTube. He's very against uh, Facebook. Re- you'd say if left? anything, he's probably more of a libertarian. Putting it uh, that uh, way, yeah, I'd, I'd go with that one. I'd go with that one. I think that's yeah. a fair assessment. Sure, sure. But I've, yeah. I've, I, I watch I watch him, and it's like he what raised would... the question: Is the United States actually heading? into a civil war or are we already in one and that well, was a fa- that was a question i couldn't fucking answer here's the thing right uh, if you okay if you go by textbook we're not in a civil war right like yeah like you, textbook yeah. yeah like there's no one yeah you know, well there's people dying yes but no they're, they're, we're not it's not north versus south it's not well it is black versus white right now uh, I feel like the Hispanics and Asians are having parties, though, because they're not <laughs> included. <laughs> they're like, yes, we yeah. ain't got shit to do with any of this. We're going to sit back and drink our Nagasaki's. That's a drink, I think. Uh, so, yeah, I I, I, I don't textbook wise. No, but I, I just and, and it always happens like shit like this always happens. If you go back to 2016, well, there was another Black Lives matter movement it, it yep it really and, and i'm not playing towards trump i'm not saying that trump is all right trump is all good i'm not i'm saying that you have to look at all sides of it all sides mm. and say okay here's my opinion on the situation but you, you, let me ask you so joe rogan what do you take joe rogan as uh, a left or a right the <laughs> The way Joe Rogan acts when he's on his pod, when he's on his podcast, mm-hmm. have you tried the mushrooms? Have you tried that? What's that DDT liberal. or some shit like that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Le- so you're gonna say leftist liberal? I, I, see, the, the way that I look at Joe Rogan, if he could grow his hair, he would become a tree hugging happy. <laughs> I can see that. I can see that. He's always trying to get everybody to smoke weed that goes on the show. He's like, here, Ben Shapiro, smoke a blunt with me. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, and it's just, yeah, I, I, I don't know, man. It's just, it, it's so bad, and everything you see, and uh, Facebook videos, I don't know. Oh I, God, Facebook, Jesus. Yeah, that the people. Here's think- the thing: someone said this to me. See if they were to shut down social media right now, shut down Twitter, shut down LinkedIn, shut down YouTube, shut down Facebook, shut down TikTok. Eighty percent of the problems would suddenly disappear. The only issue you would have with that is you wouldn't see the other side. You mm. would you would only yep. see what the meat. Now, if you talk about shutting down TV, well, I don't know, I because I feel social media has got probably eighty five percent of of the problems right there. So oh, yeah, I would have to agree with that. But but then you're only going to see, depending on what you watch on TV, one side, not the other side of what people are going to submit against that as a counter. So. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if and that. The problem fix- is the problem is that the media, even here in the UK, for the most part, the media generally does tend to lean towards the left. Yep. yep. Maybe not so much Fox. They're probably centre centre right. But you lose CNN. Yeah, Fox NBC. is Fox is more conservative than it is liberal. Yeah. 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 It's like the the only the only one I could really watch is Fox. Is just. I, I guess what really bothers me again, not picking a side, it's just when I watch all these other channels, all they do is talk shit about Donald Trump. And I guess that bothers me because not that he's Republicans, that he's the leader of the nation. Yeah. I, I just, it bothers me. Like, why are you trying to. People are going to be real pissed off when he wins the reelection. There's going to be oh, a lot of pissed see- off people. That, that's all I'm what, saying. What- when the November elections come up, and let's face it, it's just basically a certainty. I mean, the fuck's going to vote for Biden, for fuck's sake. When Trump wins, the far left, they're going to go fucking insane. 
But what are they literally what are insane? They going to More riots? Oh yeah, I think there will be. I honestly think there will be. But here's the thing. You're caught between a rock and a hard place. Trump gets in, the left go nuts. Everything starts to simmer down. Russia pops up again, what the fuck ever, then Trump's out because you can only ha you can only sit for two presidential terms. But if Biden gets in, the door to the far left is thrown open. That's the worry. Because if you look at the way Biden's progressed from before he became vice president, when Biden was a normal senator, when he still had hair and he wasn't demented, he was, technically speaking, a centrist in the Democratic Party. And look at what happened over the past 10 years. He's went further and further and further and further to the left. And one of the reasons he's doing it is to entice the Sanders supporters to vote for Biden. Because what happened in the 2016 election as Biden dropped out, and the Sanders supporter said, we're not voting at all. Right. Trump got it. Right. Yeah. Yeah, this is his third time running as president, though. His third time. So I'm going to tell you, if you, 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 didn't, you didn't get it two, two out of three, you know, uh, well, <laughs> three out of three, that's kind of it. I, I, I'm yeah. going to be real shocked if he, like, passes away in the next year. Could you imagine? <laughs> I'm, I, you don't have much time left. At that age, <laughs> what is he, 80? He's 78, 79? I mean, Trump he's ain't that far. Yeah, he's up there. So you think Trump doesn't know when to shut his mouth, huh? See, if, 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 if they took away his phone so he couldn't go on Twitter, that was a fucking massive improvement. You don't, think, that, improvement. You don't think it's cool that he goes on Twitter, though, to, like, post snarky but shit? Some of the fucking stuff he says, though. What the fuck, Donald? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they said that even going into office, you can't do the Twitter. You can't, you can't, you can't do it. But he did it. He's like, watch me do it anyway. It's whatever. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's that bad. I, I'm saying he does have fault. He does have faults. He does have problems. But every president at some time during their career as president, they're going to have issues. Yeah. I, I can't even. Ones. I can't even tell you. I, I guess Gerald Ford would be the last president that didn't that didn't do two terms back to back. Uh, every president has been reelected, I guess, to get a second yeah. chance. So, generally speaking, most presidents. In fact, didn't. I think didn't Gerald Bush. Ford. I thought Bush Senior only done one term. He did do one term. You are correct. He did. Yeah. Yep. yep. You're right. That whole read my lips, no more taxes. Yeah, that fucked you up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right, senior. I totally forgot about him. But generally speaking, most presidents do sit for two terms. Right. Most of them do. Yep. No term limits on a prime minister, huh? So he could be there for nope. five years. He can be there for as long as the public vote him in or as long as the, the, the party he represents wants them in. I think the longest serving prime minister, I think the longest serving prime minister was Pitt the Younger, who was prime minister for f 17 years. Jesus Christ. 17 years, I think. Then his party threw him out. What's the what's the youngest you could be a prime minister in the UK? I think the age, I think the youngest is 21 from what I remember. Yeah, 21. 21. 21. No, that can't be right. No, 21. Shut up. I have to Google this. There's no way. Fucking shoot it's 21. Minimum age prime minister. Eight, 18? Oh, they, can't, they couldn't have put it down. Only 18? Wait. As only members of the House of Representatives are eligible to be appointed prime minister, the prime minister must be at least 18 years old. Wait a minute. That can't be right. But I'm sure they put in the 21 rule. The youngest prime minister to be appointed was William Pitt the Younger on 19 December 1783 at the age of 24 years, 6 months, and 21 days. Yep, Pitt the Younger. No, it's 18 years old in the UK. That is fucking crazy. That... Fucking hell. I'm sure they put oh. the 21 rule on. Ah, so it's still Google 18. It. Google hell. it, bro. Google it. It says 18. That's nuts. 18? You can't, you can't have someone 18 running a country. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen, you can't even have a credit card yet. You can't do this. Like, you can't. 
Oh, no, you can get a credit card even when you're 18. No, I, I know you can. That was just a joke. I'm just saying <laughs> that 18 years old, I, I, I don't. What's the legal age of drinking in UK? 18. Really? Yeah. Okay. So I was going to say you can't even drink a beer yet. Okay. Well, uh, all right. What about military? I think that's, I don't think that's 16. I think that's 18 as well now. It used to be 16. 18 years old to run a country. Who would vote for you? Like all well, your they classmates? Voted, they, 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 like, here's <laughs> the thing. They, vote, they, vote, they voted Pitt the Younger in. He was 24. Like, who's voting for you? Your high school graduating class? Like, what? <laughs> yeah, that is crazy, dude. 18. Yeah, I think our youngest president was Kennedy. 30, 32, 33? Yeah. Young. That was Kennedy. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I mean, the way they run it here, if you're 18, you're, you're old enough to drink, you're old enough to smoke, you're old enough to die for the country, you can run for prime minister if you I want. I don't know about all that. I mean, that that's a bit of an extreme. Uh, you're talking about, because he makes laws, correct? Like, that's what the prime minister does. Well, over here in the UK, it's prime minister. It's a government It's a government run by cabinet. So the prime minister can't just do what Donald Trump does and sign an executive order. The prime minister does not have that power. So he has to go through like a Congress type of deal. He's got to go through his own cabinet, the Secretary of Defense, the Secretary of Health, the Secretary of, you know, the, the, the cabinet members. What about if people? They... Do people, what? what about regular people like you? Do you have a say in that law? Like if he wanted to no. introduce a law and he goes through all those channels, do you get a say in that law as a resident nope. of UK? None. Nope. Nope. If it go if it goes through Parliament and then the House of Lords greenlight it, that becomes law. Simple as that. Regardless of how you feel as a citizen of, wow, yeah. it's the parliamentary system. It's completely different to the system over in the United States. Totally different. To yeah. I was having this debate with somebody the other day. They were like, "Oh, you know, uh, the USA is a, a Republican country. No, it's a Democratic Republic. That's mm. what that's what USA is labeled as." Because we have a democracy, people get to vote. Uh, well, and most 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 policies people get to vote on. Whether or not uh, it matters at all is a totally different story. But yeah, um, the Senate bills and all that stuff. Right, right, right. You don't get that here. That's that's crazy. But the system here for for a law to pass. I'm trying to remember now. Um, for a lot to pass, it's got to go through the committee stage, and the committees are bipartisan. Like the Science and Technology Commission, for instance, that looked at these and gave it the thumbs up, bipartisan. So all the commissions have got to be Labour, Conservative, Liberal Democrat, and SNP, if it's a Scottish thing, you've got to put the SNP in. So it goes through the commission stage first. The original draft goes back to the House of Commons for a two-day debate. Then amendments are added. It goes back to the commission system for a final draft, then back to the House of Commons for a two-week debate. The House of Commons signs off on it, hands the paper to the House of Lords, which is the upper house, all the lords and ladies. They look at it, and they look at it from the, from the law perspective. Will this law interact or fuck up any other laws of the land? They add amendments to it throw it back to the House of Commons, goes back to committee. Committee look at it, throws it back to the House of Commons for the third and final reading, back to the House of Lords. The Queen puts her stamp on it and it becomes law. The whole process so the, takes about two and a half years. So the Queen actually does have an authoritative position as far as the law is concerned. So the Queen as would essentially law, be it's, like it's, be like the president, she, essentially. Yeah, but the final she's approval. Be, yeah, she's basically forced to put her name on it, though. There, it's It's... it's I don't know during at least Queen Elizabeth's time, I don't remember her refusing to put her name on anything. But she could. I'm sure she could. She... Oh, she, if she could, if she wanted yeah, I'm, to, I'm, but I'm... then you'd have a constitutional crisis. Right. I, I'm sure she could. So they're yeah. saying that Kennedy was 43. I thought he was in his 30s. I didn't know he was in his I thought 40s. he was in his late 30s as well. Kennedy, president age. Right? I could have swore he was in his 30s. Uh, 46, 46 years old. Oh, he was in his 40s. Fuck, he looked good in his 40s. Really? 40s? <sighs> yeah, that, that's, that's a lot. I mean, so it's essentially the same thing as what it is in America. But, well, 
Well, I don't know about that. Except but... we don't get to vote on it. <laughs> right. Yeah, you don't you don't your position does not matter. Yeah, doesn't matter. But because it takes about two and a half years for a major law to go through, if that prime minister puts the law in at the beginning of their term, two and a half years in, it's the local county elections. This is what happened to Margaret Thatcher, and that's the reason she was kicked out. Margaret Thatcher introduced something called the community charge, which was an extra layer of tax for people renting houses that were owned by the local council. It hit people in Scotland worse than it did down south in England. And we there was there was protests and some riots up here. And that's when Margaret Thatcher started going downhill because she wouldn't listen to her cabinet members. She literally ignored her own party and tried to force through the poll tax. Well, and I, after I, about five years, the party said, fuck off, you're out. You're out. Even though she won the election. You out like that, though. That's crazy. That's like, it's like impeachment, but... It's worse. not even impeachment. You're just throwing out. Yeah, it's like worse. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's basically it, man. That's how, House of Commons. See if the House of Commons were allowed to carry swords. They'd fucking kill each other. They fucking they would. How many people is it? Is it a lot of people? Or is it like... T- um, I think it's something like 600 and 600 odd members of parliament. But the House can only fit three quarters of them. That's why they're all crammed in like this. It was Winston Churchill that designed the current House of Why Parliament. Why not redesign it so it fits more people? Why but not rebuild Winston, it or like add an addition to it? Like, the like, thing is, like Winston make it larger Ch- if you got all these people. The <laughs> thing is, Winston Churchill wanted it designed smaller so people were packed in like sardines. So that way, when the prime minister is debating the leader of the opposition, it basically turns into a massive shouting match. You must have watched Prime Minister's questions on the TV. I've seen, I've seen it where there's like an a, like a like a like like, like an alley, right? And then there's yeah. there's just uh, like Cheers. all these people on each side, and then there's someone yeah. directly in the center, kind of like a church, but opposite, yes. like yeah, like that. That's what I've seen. It's, be- it's basically a and fucking they all wear the wigs match. and shit. Yeah, yeah, that they that's the speaker. They sit at the front. Yep, they wear a wig. Yep. That's nice. <laughs> I, I can use one of those. I got, if I'm a lord, do I get one? Do they give me a Oh yeah. If you if you're a lord, you yep. have the full you have the full robes, the full nice. regalia, yep. and you can wear the wig if you want to, but you don't have to. Do they provide it or do I have to buy it? Oh no, they provide it. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. I like this shit. I'm liking it the more and more we talk about it. I'm interested. That's <laughs> now in this house where they're all yelling at each other is it democratic republic or is it just fucking people like is oh no on as you walk in through the front doors the left hand side is the sitting government so that's the conservatives the right hand side is the opposition parties which is the labor party the liberal democrats at least what's fucking do you left label the them democrats. as democrat and republican or is it just labeled as like what you just said it's labeled as government and opposition. That's it. They're, they're, That's they're, it. Okay, okay, okay. That's it. So then you as a person, do you side with one of those? Say, oh, I, like how in America we'll say, okay, I'm Republican or okay, I'm Democrat. Do you label yourself as government or opposition? Like you as a person? Well, normally when, when, it, when it comes to something like that, you, you don't usually see government or opposition. You, you see what party that you lean towards. I'm not conservative or Labour. I'm Scottish National Party. That sounds like a white supremacist group. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that sounds like. <laughs> that, that sounds like some that, type of racist the, shit. I don't know. Yeah, Scot- <laughs> SNP, Scottish National Party, that's the party that's got the majority in the Scottish Assembly right now. They are pushing for Scottish independence. Like where you don't answer the UK, you just kind of do yeah. your own shit. Where like, basically Scotland just goes like Brexit, give, give, give. like Brexit, yeah. just for yeah. So same thing. So Scotland, so S- Scotland is getting away from UK. Good luck with yeah. that. Good luck. I mean, it's going to be a little hard considering you're attached to it. So I don't see. <laughs> <laughs> well, it would just mean would it just mean would have a hard border with customs checks. That's what that would mean. So crazy. I learned a lot of stuff today. I know all of this <laughs> coming to Lord now. 
So <laughs> the paperwork. I'm I'm legitimately gonna run for president. You think I'm joking, Vic? I'm not. <laughs> I re- I really am. I legitimately am. I've. I, what's crazy is I was looking at my Facebook feed. Some guy I served with in Iraq, and I'm and I'm what I'm looking at his Facebook page, and he's like a mayor of a town. And I'm saying to myself, Ooh. I know this guy. Like I I know it. This got to be like a small town because here in America you got small little towns that have populations of like 35. And to become yeah. a mayor, if you're just the youngest person, you're automatically a mayor. Like, there's nothing to run. You, you, there's eight people that are running in office. So you, you, the, the odds of you winning is high. So I'm looking at the town, and there's like 39,000 people in this town. It, it, sounds, like, it sounds like a lot, but I, I guess being in Edison, it's, it's not a lot. So I'm talking to him, and he's like, yeah, it was super easy. You know, I just dressed real nice, and I talked real well, and I became a mayor. I said, so what's next? He's like, I'm going to be a congressman. I said, well, you just can't get up there and talk nice and then just become a congressman. He said, the fuck I can't. I said, bro, if you could become a congressman, I could become a president. Because I know the way that this guy, like the way that he thinks. And it's so easy to become a mayor. And I'm assuming that it's not difficult to become a governor. I, I mean, have you seen half the governors on TV? Yo. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, my God. And fucking Cuomo. What the fuck? Oh, dude. He, he's one of the worst. Him and Phil Murphy in New Jersey. Those two together yeah. are... I, and they want him to run for president? Oh, geez. Yeah, Christ. that's even more fucking scary. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Fucking scary. Yeah, I... I, I, uh, <laughs> I can imagine that. President Hayes. Hmm. Uh, well, President Gurphy, but yeah. The only thing I'm worried about, though, is when they ask for my tax returns. Like, I. <laughs> that, <laughs> well, no, he does now, though. Supreme Court rules, so they're gonna they're gonna make him show his tax returns. I don't I don't care about you. Pull, I'm gonna have to delete all my YouTube though. Like, I'm gonna have to delete everything. I'll because, just put it all in my name. Well, <laughs> now I gotta be careful though because. Like, if they're using shit against him, that is so... I, I don't understand this mindset of what... Okay, so I was Googling this last night, Vic. Check this out. So uh, when Reagan was in office, he was very, very resilient on showing his tax returns. Very resilient. Like, just, there, there was no need for it. Why do you need to see that? And then eventually he released some because the public outcry, and then he was saying, well, you know what? kind of changed his mind and said, well, president should show it. And then it's been kind of a, a way of the, uh, the path of being a president. But yeah. so many people are so interested in his tax returns that this is one of the driving reasons, ready, to see if he's as rich as what people think he is. Oh, That's one of the main reasons. Why does that matter? I don't under what does that have to do with anything? Of course, you have the reasoning of did he accept bribes or money from the Russian government, and and I, I, I get all that. I do, but it's yeah. really the goal. Like sixty four percent of twelve thousand people that voted, or or fifteen thousand, whatever, above ten thousand, wanted to see if he's as rich as what he is. Why? What is? I I don't understand that. I, I here's I, the way here's the way I see it. Right, you have. Career, just like here in the UK, you've got career politicians. That's their career. Oh, well, they do. They started at politics from a young age and they've yep. been in the fucking House, the Senate, the Congress, or here as a member of Parliament for fucking 30 or 40 years. Why do they want to have a look at Donald Trump's tax returns when he was a businessman who wanted to make money? Yep. But what is it with these career politicians who have sat? in politics Mm -hmm. for 30 to 40 years on the pretense of serving the public and they're now millionaires what about their tax returns make and there is no term there's no term you could be a congressman for 80 years yeah i I, i'd have to look this up but i want to say either 185 thousand a year or it's a lot of money that they make to do i don't want to say to do nothing but you're not, <laughs> you're, I mean, you're getting paid for your opinion, which I know you're against, but uh, you're, you're essentially getting paid to vote whether you think something is right or wrong. That's what, that's what you're doing. So the jury of America is the Congress, right? Or the Senate. Yep. And, and they get paid to give their opinion. So 
I, I think it's fucking crazy. Like they, they want to see his tax returns from 2001, 2002. Like for what? Mm. What does that do? Do you have to do that in UK? Does the prime minister, do you have tax returns? I think. Oh yeah, we have tax returns. Here. Does the yeah. prime minister have to show them? Nope. Do they ask him for them? Nope. Well, there you go. Maybe we should take <laughs> maybe we should take notes out of UK's book because I, I think we got it fucked up, man. Maybe you should have won when you guys came over. <laughs> I'm gonna get shit for that. I'm gonna get shit for that. No, you didn't, Jay. Maybe so you we, guys should have won. Just, we should have just stepped in just after the yeah, Boston Tea you Party and went. Enough of that. Enough of that. Yes. <laughs> You should have called in more countries to bring in ships. Hey, <laughs> France, you want to help them out? Let's let's get Spain and everybody else to side with us. You sh- Did you know, check this out. This is going to blow your mind. Did you know that the British Empire, the British Empire was the biggest empire in the world? Did you know that? The sun, that's, that's where the saying comes from. The sun never set on the British Empire. Really? And, and yeah. people will argue this, but if you look at sheer... Land mass, well, yeah. land mass, one third of the world, yep. one third. That is fucking insane. You and guys got copies of Britain. Look at the size of Britain. It's tiny. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, you did well. You did well, but you fucked up over here. But <laughs> I feel like if you would have done that, we, we might have the same shit. I'm not saying I, I'm crying about the laws. It's just as messy as this shit is over here. Maybe we need Bobby's. You and know? here's the thing. See see if King George at the time, it was George the second or fourth or some shit like that. See if he didn't raise the tea tax. That's what Boston rallied against. If the if the tea tax wasn't raised up that much, there would never have been a Boston Tea Party. Really? And the whole direction of the United States would have went down a completely different path. You would you would still have got independence, but at a much later date. At a much later date than you did. It was Wait. the Boston Tea Party that kicked it off. Well, yeah, I, I, yeah, Boston. Yeah, that's 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 a very. I don't want to say it's a shameful thing for most people to talk about, but a lot of people don't know the history on the Boston Tea Party, which includes me because I didn't know about the tax. It was the tax. King George, King George wanted to levy a two hundred and fifty percent tax raise on shipping rights in Boston because Boston was one of and the major ports at that time. you're saying that's what caused the Boston Tea Party? That can't be right. Yeah. Well, think about it. See, at the time, Boston and Massachusetts, you had the other ports that were running down. You had the other ports that were running down the East Coast, the colonies. Boston was the major port at the time. Right. There was already a There was already some kind of upsurge of independence going on but they never got the footing until King George said, I want to suck that place dry of all the money they've got to shut them up. That was the mistake King George did. If George had sat back and just levied the normal 40 to 50% tea tax, the independence movement in Boston would never have got their way. When the tea tax came in... It would have still happened, though. It would have just been been a... um, I, I... I mean, it's rough to say the amount of years. I, th- I think it still would have happened. It would have just, like you said, just taken longer. It would have taken longer. I mean, think, I mean, the, the British, the, World War II killed the empire because Britain was basically bankrupt. We were bankrupted by World War II. If you look at what happened after World War II, the empire just split apart. India got their independence. There was the whole partition thing, which that was a... The, the partition between Pakistan you guys and were India. in India up until the eighties or, 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 or seventies, you guys were still had presence there, right? And, and the, Oh yeah. Like you were still, it just, was still under the, the, the British empire. So yeah. And if you look over in China, Hong Kong was still part of the yeah. British empire until yeah. we held it over to, we held it over to China oh. in the late eighties, early nineties. The British yeah. empire was fucking yeah. huge, but it fell apart after world war two because Britain was essentially bankrupt. It was bankrupt. Yeah, I mean, I, I I don't want to give you guys any credit during World War II, but I, I would say that, you know, being as close as what you were to Germany. Hmm. Think of it this way. I'm also a firm believer. Uh, I'll get shit for this as well. 
I, I've done a lot of research on World War II, like in a, probably a little bit too much. But I will say that if it, okay, this is going to cause a lot of shit, but it's the Russians that won that war. Okay, I, I, I'm not saying that other countries didn't have things to do, but they pushed them all the way back from Russia to Berlin. Like straight to Berlin. Like yep. that that's literally half of a globe. Like yeah. <laughs> if you look at a globe, that is a lot of distance. Like that is a got, lot of countries yeah. to push. All you've through. got to do all you've got to do is look at a globe. The Germans were outside Moscow. And they fucked that's up. That's how far in they got. That's where he fucked up. Is once he put his feet on Russian territory. Yep. Stalin was like, listen, man, you pushed too far. Like, <laughs> but you've got to look at it this way. At what I mean, just think how many Russians died in World War II. That number I don't know. Okay, I, I take, the ass, amount of, take the amount of soldiers. Are we talking civilians or are we talking about soldiers? Both. Let's say probably two million, three million. Oh no, more. That's way more than that. Get the fuck out of here. It's up in the tens of millions. The Russians? It's up in the tens of millions. Think about it. What was Stalin doing at the back half of the German invasion? Stalin had killed off all of his generals because it's communist. He was he was paranoid by that point. He was literally paranoid by that point in time. All his generals were killed. The people that were running the the people that were running the Russian army were youngsters. And all Stalin was doing is throwing more and more and more men. Tens of thousands were being thrown every day at the Germans, and the Germans were just gunning them down. You've also got to look at it this way. Between the border of Russia and Moscow, there is a vast tract of land. Yeah. The Germans were basically committing Ooh. genocide on the way to Moscow. Well, plus you have to realize they weren't used to that cold. Like, they you're, you're, you're not yeah. used to this cold, man. These guys live here. Like, <laughs> they built these tanks for that weather like <laughs> like that's what they were for you know when you when you even look at i, I love like german world war ii history I, I absolutely love it i'm infatuated with it and, and i think it's crazy that they had some of the best tanks best armory best weaponry in best the ships. world like yeah. They're, they're, they're Germans just, and even when you look at other countries like Japan, they used a lot of German tanks and just modified them, whether yep. it was a different gun or howitzer or, or whatever. But you, they had the best in the world. The problem is, obviously, Hitler's a lot of problems to begin with, but he just spread himself out way too much, way too much, man. And I'm telling you, once he stepped into Russia, it was at that point. You realize you lost. fucked up. Like, oh, yeah. shit. Shit. We got people in Normandy. We got people in Spain. We got people in Hungary. Now we all got to focus fire and pull out. And they're just going to push you and just keep pushing. And just keep then there was pushing. the African front as well. Yeah. And Africa, and the yeah they, Pat, they, Patton and they, Rommel. Patton and Rommel. The original plan was, if, 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 you read, if you read a lot of World War II historian books, what Hitler wanted to do, he did not want a war with Britain, because he knew if he involved Britain in the war, what would happen is Britain would end up relying heavily on what was then called the Commonwealth. But it was essentially it right. was essentially the British right. Empire. Right. What Hitler wanted to do was take out Russia first, and he wanted the backing of Britain to take down the Soviets. But the problem was Hitler. In fact, it wasn't Hitler. It was actually Macmillan before Hitler because Hitler got it into his head that the only way to calm down Europe before Germany went after Russia was to basically blitzkrieg most of Europe. And Macmillan said, if you invade Poland, we're at war. Germany went, we're calling your buff, bluff, we're invading Poland. Yeah, and that was, that was like 10 minutes over. <laughs> yeah, 10 minutes. Because, you, I mean, you've, you've got to look at it from... The early days before before Hitler went downhill, the early days of World War Two. Just look at what Germany achieved. It was yeah. fucking insane. That's what. I'm, that's why it fascinates me that they just steamroll. Just that the they best way. Steamrolled over Europe. That's it. Like it was nothing. Like oh well, okay. Next, next country. Next, and then taking the best military officers of each country that you. 
I, I, it's just so fascinating, man. It is. In Africa, I, I don't know much about Africa. I do, I do know about Patton and Rommel. Um, General Patton, listen, it, it's it's crazy. It is crazy when you see how much he conquered in that short of time. I, I watched the film George C. Scott. I don't think I've seen it. Oh, it's oh, a, a fucking a awesome film. Documentary? George C. Scott. What? Is it a documentary? No, it's well, it's it's a kind of documentary about Patton's life with George C. Scott playing Patton. It's a fucking awesome film. What's the awesome? Name, what's the movie? The name of the movie? Patton. Oh, the new one. No, the old one. I think it was done in the seventies, sixties, or seventies. Oh, set. Oh, nineteen seventies. Holy shit. It was one of George. It was one of George C. Scott's last major roles, and he fucking nailed it. Yeah, he they just, nailed it. I think they did a series or something on uh, Patton that was on Netflix or something recently. Mm. But I mean, here's the thing: World War Two would never have happened if the Paris Treaty after no. World War One treated Germany more fairer. I don't agree. I don't agree. I I do. I've heard that conspiracy so bad. <laughs> I do not agree with that at all. Nope, nope, nope. I, I, I still, I still think, I still think that treaty at the end of World War One, if they had relaxed the regulations against Germany, it wouldn't have. It, Hitler would not have been able to rise to power. Ah, did you know? Did you know? Here, here's a fun fact for you. You, you know who Henry Ford is right. Mm, mm -hmm. Okay. Did you know that Henry Ford was one of Hitler's biggest supporters? Did you know that? Oh. Yep. Uh, and, and there's also um, another American. I cannot think of it. Uh, they were running, I want to say engine parts for their Tiger tank. Uh, Mercedes? No, it wasn't Mercedes. No, it's an American no. company. But any, anyway, so Henry Ford, he had a lot of American backers. Uh, Hitler, but see, there's, I've looked this up and let me see if you could, if, if you know this. So, when when Hitler started, right, there was a group that he was with, uh, not the Nationalist Party. I, I can't remember it, but it, it's very hard to find any information. They're the people that gave Hitler a lot of the funding and the backing, and they never talk about them in, in documentaries. And it's 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 almost like the Illuminati. It's not yeah. that, but it, it's called something, and I can never figure it out. But they gave a lot of the money to him to get a lot of the support. And I don't agree with the whole French treaty at all. I think Hitler saw it as, I mean, you could stem it to his childhood with his father. I mm. think it was a matter of, the amount of power that he had and the workforce, him feeling like it's crazy as he wasn't even German. Uh, so that, yeah, he was I, Austrian. <laughs> I mean, yep. it's, it's, it's like me going to try to represent Canada right now. I'm not from Canada, so I, I don't know, but yeah, he was Austrian. Uh, so was his father, but so anyway, I, I think it's got to do with a lot of the jobs that he saw was not being more open to the, I don't want to say general public, but the Germans. And yeah. he just went, I think it's really, that's what it stems from. I, I think that's what it is. And just going nuts and realizing that you have the power and you're going to take, I mean, he told the president, look, I want your job. I'm, I'm no, going to yeah. take your job. I don't want to be first, and I, I want to be the man in charge. Yeah, <clears throat> that's what caused the end of the Weimar Republic, and yep. for for Hitler to basically take over, because the president, he basically abdicated. Yep, yep. He, did he basically nothing. went fuck this. I'm out of here. See ya. He did nothing to stop it either, but he he realized he couldn't. You can't. He couldn't. You can't, you can't yeah. stop him, dude. He's wow. I, it's just so fascinating. Such a such a fascinating individual. Not in a good way, but not in a fucking definitely not in a good way. <laughs> it's just I I don't know I I, I it's good it's like me I like I'd I'd love to sit down with someone like Ted Bunny and just get in their head you know just right. why did you do what you do you know just what was the reasoning yes yes and people what was the reasoning that. It's, I don't know it's fascinating. Wow, that conversation went deep. 
Yeah, I love I love conversations like this, man. I think I think they're badass. Like it's history. You can't wipe that away because that, especially that. The, the, yeah. You, if you don't learn from history, you are doomed to make the same mistakes. Who said that? You know who said I that? I can't fucking remember. <laughs> <laughs> history repeats itself. Um, yeah, it does. Probably have been a U.S. president, actually, that said it. If you don't learn from history, you're doomed to make the same mistakes. I thought it, it was a U.S. president that said that. I thought that was a Greek philosopher, wasn't it? Hmm. Which, which perfectly dovetails back to all the statues being pulled down. If you erase history, you don't learn from it. That's right. And if you take down... I... I, I, I there are some things like there was a there was a, I don't know if you saw this on the news, but there was uh, a stone, okay, in Virginia on on a corner of a street, and what this stone represented was the last slave trading in America, like the oh. spot where it was. So right, it, it is historic, right? It, it is, but obviously that was vandalized, and then eventually the state just ripped it out of the ground, and you know we kind of got rid of it. I apologize for because I could see that causing controversy. You know, like, why do you need to remember that? Mm. But certain statues, I mean, even Christopher Columbus, I, I, I don't agree with what he did, but I don't know if I agree with taking down and decapitating a statue. I, I And here's, here's the thing. They're taking, down, they're taking down a statue of Christopher Columbus in a town fucking called Columbus. What the fuck? Are you going to rename the town? <laughs> Well, they're talking about rena- the, the Joe Biden, the the the, the female song about the military person wants to rename military bases because a lot of them are renamed after Confederate generals. What? What? I didn't think of that. But oh my God, where do you? Where does it end? Where does that, it end? That's the worry. Where does it end? What? Where, where does it? Because it has to end somewhere. Is there no more color black? Are we just going to remove that too? Why don't we just remove that and just call it a dark color? Mm. Uh, what, when, when does it end? What happened, Bray? Oh. Um, you know, it just never ends, man. It never ends. It's the, the fucking vicious circle that keeps on repeating itself. Morgan Freeman said it best. And Morgan Freeman has come out and said publicly he's not a supporter of Black Lives Matter. And what he said to several interviewers, it's simple. I won't call you a white person. You don't call me a black person. We're humans. That's Racism's it. gone. That's it. That's what it comes down to. You'll still have the lunatic left, but they'll have fuck all to fucking riot about. <laughs> yeah, riots. I, I feel so bad for the people, man, that, that lose their businesses, that are scared to go into work, and uh, everything that they've worked for destroyed overnight. Yeah. And then your insurance company is going to label that. Uh, good luck following that claim. That's all I'm saying. They won't pay out. Yeah, they good won't luck. pay out. Good luck with that. Good luck. Yeah. It's going to fall on the in- state. Now you got to sue the state. And you got to hope mm-hmm. to God you win to pay for all the shit that they destroyed because you did nothing to stop it. Fucking scary. Just scary. That's it. The human race. Well, that was a good live. I like that, Vic. That was that was deep. It was. It was poetic. I like it, though. It's good. I got to throw some banners and shit on the bottom <laughs> to fill that up. I put, like, uh, that ghost, that ghost yeah. juice... We'll put the ghost on there. We'll put Vaping with Vic, sponsored by... Penmate. Yep. What What was that? Penmate? Yes. Postmate? The stickers. We'll put post-its in the corner. Yes. With Rip Tripper's name. Sponsored by Don't Rip Tripper. Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> um, <laughs> guys, I've been playing this really badass game. Use coupon code <laughs> JHAYS. Get every single character in the game. And this is Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> Every single character. <laughs> Look, I've been playing it, this it. game since they sent me the video of someone playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to hand it to the marketing. Whoever's behind yeah. the Shadow Legends, they must yeah. have spent a fortune. Oh my God, at least a million dollars. At yeah. least. A fucking fortune. They didn't, I don't even think they advertise like on any platform. They just used people. Like, yep. Th- Best marketing ever, because you're just attacking everybody at once. Yeah. Good Raid marketing. Shadow Legends is the Hitler of gaming, just a heads up. 
<laughs> going after everybody at once. Spreading yourself too thin. Now nobody plays your game. Uh, so, <laughs> so that was good, Vic. That was good. Um, that was fun. Tell the people your channel. Tell them where to find you at. So that, yeah, you'll that, find me at youtube.com forward slash vaping with Vic or just head to vapingwithvic.co.uk. It's probably the easiest way of doing it. There it is. And that's it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Stay in tuned. Uh, Victor, stay afterwards. And everybody else, thank you again. Thank you all that donated. And for those of you that became a member, I appreciate you. Remember, somebody loves you, and it's not me. <laughs> <laughs>